All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us have a good time together, learning and educating ourselves. Uh, Muslims, they have many claims about what is called miracles, and today uh, I'm not going to repeat myself, but I have an open challenge to any Muhammadan. He can prove to us that what the Muslims claim about scientific miracles in the Quran he is more than welcome to call us and to prove us wrong I accuse any Muslim who claim that there is scientific miracles in the Quran to be a person who have no decency who have no honesty and to be a liar and now and today we are going to give you a chance to call us life on air and choose any of those fabricated miracles anything you want you name it all of those are nothing but a big fat lie I'm going to open my Skype and please only Muslims can call me no Christians no atheist no Hindu no Jews only Muslims because this is a challenge between me and those who believe and worship Muhammad what the purpose of those scientific claims you know Islam was and it was always dying since since the time of Muhammad and the world came into science and science yeah. growth and then the Muslims they try their best how we can make anyone believe in such a silly cult it's called Islam how we can make the new generation believe in such a silly stupid religion a religion which teach that there's a flying carpet there's a genie who go inside your bum when you go in the bathroom a genie who sleep in your nose and piss in your ears. A religion would teach that if you sneeze, shaitan will jump inside your mouth. And yet, they claim that this is a scientific religion. I mean, how that work together? How that all work together? While Suleiman in Islam he have a ring control his kingdom magical ring Muslims they make videos and articles and even books claiming scientific miracles in the Quran how that all function together it function there's many naive people who don't know know anything about this cult Oh, we can fool them we mix and we make an article and like I don't know choose which one you, you want to talk about just to show you how they mix articles they mix articles of science and they uh, they mix it with the Quran and they try to uh, manipulate the meaning of the Quran try to make it fit with what they call science As an example speed of light speed of light is in the Quran are you sure speed of light is in the Quran speed of angel turned out to be known speed of light <laughs> you know I'm getting weight by the way which I don't like, you know. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm lucky. I don't gain weight easy, you know. Uh, this is how my family are, uh, but I'm gaining weight because I'm laughing too much. So it turned out that the speed of the angels it turned out to be the speed of light. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? Okay, 
Let us see how this work. Yeah. Any Muslim want to give us a call? My Skype is open. My Skype is open. I'm trying to zoom out in this article so you guys can read and see a better uh, view of the site. I don't know if you can see the, the whole text or no. Do you see the whole text, guys? I think uh, from this side here, let's see. Okay, I think now you see it all, right? Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and tell us how the speed of light turned to be the speed of the angels? Mirza want to bust you? Who is this Mirza? Mirza is not a Muslim, as I know. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? How are you, Fadi? Are you there? Who is a Muslim will tell us how the speed of light turned to be the speed of the angels? Anyone? It's a golden opportunity to convince all those Christians who they are listening about what we are talking about. And hold on, before I, uh, I, I we go on in this uh, miracles or claim of miracles, uh, there's uh, a person which really I appreciate very much. He's from the Philippines. He asked me about something I spoke about before. Even this is not our topic. Uh, he asked me about a video I made before. Actually, it wasn't a video only. It was uh, I I made a seminar when I was in the Philippines and he was there and I spoke about that. So he's trying, he's, you know, he's asking about uh, this video uh, or this explanation. Why Christians, according to Islam, they are nice. Maybe I should make a special video about it or maybe you guys, you can cut this part and make it just about this. Uh, why the Christians, according to Islam, why Muslims, they, they don't, how, how the Muslim, they see you being kind as a Christian. The Muslim, when they see you kind, that's not because you are following Christ. That's because Allah, he cursed you. If you go in the Quran, it says it clearly that Allah, he put upon us humiliation. Hmm? He is the one who made us subdued. So a Muslim, when he see you, that you are a nice person. He believe, Muhammad, look how evil he is. Uh, you can change the translation if you want. The translation here is very funny. Uh, a Muslim, when he, when he see a Christian is nice, he don't take it. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this banner. It's not staying to open. Uh, okay. Ooh. Man. All right, change to any translation you want. Uh, all of them, they will come to the same conclusion that you Christians are nice because Allah, He cursed you and He made you humiliated. He, he put shame on you. So because you are, because you are uh, uh, Allah covered you by shame, this is why you are a kind person. And here you see the evil stand of Muhammad from the Christians. So he pitched over them shame a tent of shame because they rejected the signs of Allah so you know if you notice when I debate Muslims Muslim they say to me how come you are not acting like a Christian suddenly they want us to act like Christians what does that mean I mean you should be nice and kind uh, but nice and kind for the Muslims they understood it wrong because the Quran says that they are not nice and kind because they are following the good God. No, but because the good God, or supposed to Allah in this case, He cursed them and He covered them by shame. And for sure, this is stupid and this is a lie. Because if we are following the shaitan, why we will be kind? We should be violence. Have you ever heard somebody follow Satan and he turned to be kind and peaceful? I mean, this is the most stupid verse ever. 
but a stupid prophet speaking to stupid uh, 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 you know leaders of cult and then uh, we have a stupid information and now the Muslim when you are very kind to him he read this verse he says yeah hmm, Allah is right see they are kind uh-huh he Allah he humiliated them Allah he covered them by shame well shame on you Allah and I am not kind to you I spank you every day and you can do nothing about it now we go back to our topic I hope I answered the question now we go back the speed of light turned to be the speed of angels by the way I'm very fast in case you do not know and I think my speed is past the speed of light long time ago I mean what speed of light what those guys are talking about I can get you busted in less than two seconds you know two seconds two, who, who wanna call me who is a Muhammadan Abdul he would like to call me and tell me about the speed of light hey, hold on I, I have a Muslim there look like we got a fish No, he did not answer. Call declined. Mm, declined. Sound fishy. Who is the next Muslim? Who is the Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. Hello. Hello. anyone now let us read together the article as long as there's no Muhammad and to call us sadly I thought I got a fish but it turned to be a sardine this is what Muhammad is you think he is a big shark but the fact he is a potato speed of light Muslims Muslims believe that angels are low dynasty they are low dynasty are they well what does that mean they can flow in the water where Muslims get this from hey hey Muslims who is a Muslim can tell me where is the law dynasty is coming from what does that mean hello huh uh-huh I mean reading Muslimic articles is kind of a comedy Muslims believe in this way or way okay well, can you who want to show me the reference just you you throw something and that's it you Muslims believe in that way or, okay well, can you show me okay hold on maybe my question is not a clear I will make it in an Islamic way show me answer me refute me uh, this is the way uh, Muslims they do it in a in a mockery debate so who is a Muslim wanna show me answer me silence me hello nobody okay we continue creature and that God it created them originally from light uh -huh. he, uh, created it from light okay they move at any speed from zero up to the speed of light okay hold on hold on hold on are you saying to me that the angels are the max speed they have is the speed of light what a shame you just destroyed Islam you just destroyed everything in this cult who want to stand with this opinion who is a Muhammad and want to stand with the opinion that the maximum speed I mean look from zero I'm so glad they start from zero I thought they would start from like 20 kilometer an hour I mean start start from zero I mean even look they put the word zero there like start from zero any Mohammedan anyone okay there's no Mohammedan what we can do you know 
uh, this is why actually I like the song it's called bad boy bad boy what you can do what you can do when Christian friends come to you so where are the Muslims all right so they move at any speed from zero up to the speed of light Lamborghini my friend it is the angel who carry out God orders those angels take their order from preserved tablet somewhere okay what what the angels brother hold on we need to explain this in the Urdu language because Arabic is not enough to explain this and no English can explain it only Urdu is the language can be satisfying proven by Zach and I brother the angel they go every day to the sky and they carry the order of Allah and how they get it and from where they get it this is a very mystery question and today we are going to answer it the end they fly in the speed of light and the maximum speed they have is like 200 kilometer and they go to the sky and they get the tablet from the tablet and the tablet of Allah is not galaxy even though it exists between the galaxy as an example dead galaxy 8 and galaxy 11 and galaxy 10 s all of them they are copying the copyright of Allah and they get that from the tablet of Allah Allah have a tablet Allah he has a tablet and they copy the information from the tablet why don't get it from Allah I mean why Allah have a tablet anyway any Muslim can tell us what kind of God he have a tablet for what hello I mean look we are talking about science and we end with Allah having a tablet how Allah is Almighty God yet he needed a tablet let us get you busted so the angels they get their orders from the tablet not from Allah this is what they said correct guys is that correct this is what they're saying it is the angel who carry out God orders those angels they take their orders from a preserved tablet <laughs> okay how you can do that if the tablet full of millions of orders which one they will know this is the one the tablet is full Allah he wrote everything there okay we got the tablet now which one which one we will do now is it like lined up one two three not by order let us go to the Quran maybe this just to simply simplify the concept of angels function someone Jesus used to explain things eh, try something better for him it's a literally tablet no must then believe in such a thing as you said in chapter 50 verse number 16 Allah he claim that he is closer to us from our vein so why the angels need to go to the tablet any Muslim how the Quran says that Allah he even hear us and he is a closer to us from our vein hello do we have any Muslim and as long Allah is a closer to Muhammad from his vein why he even need an angel what about Allah who is next to the vein of Muhammad whisper to Muhammad and say to him silence me answer me show me who need an angel in this case any Muhammadan hello
Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Oh, we have a Muslim. Hello? Hey, hello? Truth, how are you? Oh, hello, hello, brother man. Uh, before, before I talk, I want to uh, stay. Uh, I apologize for yesterday. I was a bit, uh, I was tired, man. I was tired. Are you, long day so are you better now today? I, I hope you are better then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, right. yes, 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 yes. Okay. So how are you, brother? I'm fine, I'm fine. How about you? We are talking about the miracles of the Quran. <laughs> And the Muslims, they claim the, the Quran and many miracles, brother. Even that's the wonderful. That's wonderful, brother. That's wonderful. I'm crying now. Honestly, I'm crying. <laughs> no, don't cry. Hold don't on. Let me get some tissues. Oh, this is not a tissue. This is a diaper. This is a <laughs> This is a diaper of a Muslim left here from right, yesterday. Okay, hold on. I'm hold on. I'm, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. When you tell me there's a miracle, okay, we are talking about one. I don't know if you are watching the videos. It says oh, that um, the term. I, I was just uh, in the beginning. You was. I had to wait like 10 minutes, but then I had to do something. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So right. it says that it turned that the speed of light is the speed of the angels. Oh, you, you talk about the speed of light. Oh, yeah, speed that's, of light. Are point, you familiar with the speed of light? Um, mm. miracle, man. That's really uh, mm. that amazing me. That's really amazing. Explain man. to me. Uh, like yeah, as long as I mean, let me give you the article so yeah, you can yeah. open it in your side and you can, I don't know, can you see the screen with me? Um, no, I can't right okay. now. But I, I can I send can. you the link. If hold hold on, yeah, yeah. I will send you the link so you can open it, it and read it from your side. Yeah. All right, all right. So, what do you think? Uh, open the what do you think about this? That the all right, angels, give me a second, give me a second. Mm. Yeah, take your time. You can call a friend if you want. Uh, brother, I have to eat. I'm sorry. I'm really... Uh, I have to iftar. I will call you, brother. Unbelievable. I mean, he called me. He called me. He is the one who called me. We just gave him... And now I have to eat. Okay, I have a diaper here in case after you eat. I bought a bunch of diapers for any possible caller. We don't want you to do it all over the place. All right, let us continue. So if Allah is more closer, closer to our vein, why even he need to send us an angel? I think maybe we have a Muslim. Hold on. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam. Jiggy, 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 okay. jiggy. This is what your mom taught you. Stupid people. All right. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Any Muslim? Uh, 
you know, always when I see Muslims trying to make a statement, I feel sorry for them. It's a very sign, a very clear sign of depression. Quran, Allah rules the cosmic, the cosmic. The Quran says the word cosmic. May Allah cosmic you. Hey Muslims, where is uh, where, uh, who is a Muslim can show me the word cosmic? Allah, He says in the Quran, He ruled the cosmic. May Allah cosmic you all. How many cosmic in around us these days? What is that? It doesn't say. It says, "You debbir al amra min al sama ila al ard." ثُمَّ يُعَرِّجُ إِلَيْهِ He, uh, you know, rule everything from the sky to the ground, which means the orders come from the sky to the ground. And then they go back to him in a day equal to 1,000 years of what you count. And by the way, this is 1,000 year. It was stated in the Old Testament, which is saying that one day, for God is the likeness of a 1,000 year for us. But this is not really about a count, literally count. It's showing us that time means nothing to God. But here, the Muslims, by saying that this is literally what it is, they got their God in trouble. Anyone knows why? By saying this and taking it in a literal way, and actually, they, they took it like this. This is not the only them. They do all the Muslims. They take it in literate way. By doing that, they put Islam into trouble. Anyone knows why? Let us see how many of you is there thinking with me. Forget about this guy, the kid guys. This is the whole point. They are seeking attention. They are mentally people. Anyone notice what is the problem here? Let us see who of you have a very fast processor. No, no. No. Guys, forget about this kid, Gigi. This is, this is the whole point of him calling you, calling us, because he is seeking attention. He's a poor kid. And look, you are doing exactly what he wants. He is so happy now. Look, they are talking about me. I mean, don't be silly like him. This is adult chat. Here we are, we have adult conversation. So if you're adult, you are welcome to stay. If you are a, a kid, go play with the kids. I hope we are clear. So anyone will mention that name in the text, I will ban you forever. And Allah with the speed of light cannot get you back. Now, what is the problem here? Anyone notice? Additional that uh, 1,000 years for Muhammad to reply. You see, if for Allah, and you take it literate, and this is what the Muslims understand it, that Allah, he have a day, and his day is equal to 1,000 years, that will not change the fact that Allah, he is under the rules of time. Do we understand? As long you are under the rules of time and physics, that means Allah, he is getting older and time he is under the time the same as we do so if one day for Allah is long that will not change the fact that still he is under the rules of time and physics and how that God can be God yet he is under the rules of physics because a change in the location it change the time as an example uh, you know, we measure time by what? I mean, we measure time by the cycle of the earth going around itself. Is that correct? So every 24 hours, we make it a day. But in different places, this does not exist, you know? And timing, the time will, exist, will, will not exist the same as it is here. So, But still, the time is the time. It still is, is there. So as long you are under the rules of time and physics, that means Allah, Allah, He is not Almighty God. For he is under the time, unless the Muslim they want to say to us that Allah He took the shape of a human being, uh, maybe temporarily, but this is not the case. So this is mistake number one. Mistake number two. It says, He rule 
the sky affair from the heaven to the earth then this affair traveled to him a distance in one day anyone notice here how stupid when the Quran says him yet in the article they say they go to the tablet did you notice how the Quran says to him but in their article they said that they go the angels they go to the tablet which is located somewhere let us go back in the article and read together okay so the angels carry out God orders and these orders are somewhere preserved in a tablet somewhere so here in the article all of it they try to say to us that the tablet location have nothing to do with that or the location of Allah but the verse they are using it says they go to him not to wit and here you see the lack of intellect and intelligence because if you want to talk about going to Allah then why you mention going to the tablet and if you want to talk about going to the tablet why the verse saying going to Allah unless Allah himself is the tablet or maybe the tablet of Allah is between his hands remember Allah have two hands in the right side which is fun to hold the tablet with it in fact Islamic source says that this tablet is exist between the two eyes of an angel his name is Israfil and the reason Allah he put the tablet between his two eyes brows so he cannot read it from it it's a top secret tablet now Allah rules the cosmic affair from the heaven and the earth and then this affair travel into him a distance of in one day at the measure of 1000 year of what you count okay guys look how horrible what they just said Islam is being destroyed with no mercy if the angels they rule and they get the affair of Allah or let's say the order of Allah from the tablet which is preserved somewhere in order to go there it take them one day but this one day for Allah it is 1000 year for us so if the angel he wanna get a new order for Muhammad by the time he come back is going to be 2000 years after Muhammad do you understand me let us explain you know I like drawing you know like I know it is one of my favorite hobbies uh, by the way is uh, there's a big artist he saw my drawing yesterday and they invited me for a big competition for a drawing but it's going to be in Mars whereas no human is allowed uh, because they believe I am an alien and uh, here Muhammad is here and the angels are going to go from here let us say this is the this is the tablet here let us let us draw a tablet hold on I will make it uh, I will make it more appealing so you guys can buy tablets from us we offer the tablet of Allah for a very cheap price okay this is the tablet of Allah by the way it's so huge it's so huge it's like a, you you travel like thousands of years to read the tablet of Allah I think that because angels they have a weak vision so they need the big text so the tablet is here and the angels they have to travel every day for Allah from here they read the article from Allah and they go to Muhammad okay but to go there they need 1000 years to go to Muhammad and 1000 years to go back 
to the tablet what is the total somebody tell me what is the total 2000 years that means that Muhammad is a big fat false prophet because how is going to take them 2000 years yet Muhammad was receiving orders from Allah like this so when the angel Jibreel he came to Muhammad and he squeezed him three times and by the way squeezing is very well known for angels they like to squeeze people especially if you go in the bus in the Middle East look like everybody there is a squeezing angel especially if you are a female any Muslim there Muhammad been squeezed by the angel three times and I think the squeezing issue it was to activate the prophethood like you have to squeeze me three times and then I will become prophet if you squeeze me twice it doesn't work if you squeeze me four times it doesn't work so you have to squeeze the prophet three times he squeezes him and he says to him read after the prophet been squeezed five times the angel he had to go back and get the second verse he gave him the first verse saying to him read and the prophet did not know how to read even the first message it was wrong message I mean imagine you send somebody a message saying to him read but the guy do not know how to read and then you squeeze him again and you say to him read and this prophet he don't want to read because simply he cannot read and he say, I cannot read stop you know like and then he squeezed him for the third time saying the same stupid sentence read I think the angel was misinformed he was sent to squeeze somebody else who knows how to read so now he squeezed him three times and now he want to give him the second message so in order to go to Allah he have to fly for 1,000 years to go and 1,000 years to come back okay we have a Muslim I think let us see this guy Answer, please answer. Okay, well, I'm not trying. Anyway. You want to call me? Call me. Feel free if you are a Muhammadan. So, in order for the angels to go and come back, they need 2,000 years. That's mean the whole claim of Muhammad is a false claim. So look what the Muslims they try to do they try to fabricate a scientific miracles but they got their prophet busted any Muslim there you Muslims you are trying to fabricate a scientific miracle but by doing that you exposed Muhammad to be a false prophet because uh, you just said it take them 1,000 years to carry an order from Allah so Muhammad received the first order 1,000 years to go back 1,000 years to come back to Allah and 1,000 years to come back to the earth 2,000 years so if Muhammad received the first squeezing 1,400 years ago that's mean still there is 600 years more before Muhammad he received the second squeezing Do we have any Muhammadan? Please, guys, invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives and sixty kids, and help us, so we can help you. Any Muslim? Hello. 
I am by the way I feel like I'm close to con to convert to Islam I mean this is absolutely amazing tablet galaxy is it fast charge do you think the gala uh, by the way do you know what the tablet of Allah is made from you will not believe it who knows who is a Muhammad that he knows what the tablet of Allah is made from Anyone knows? I'm the only one knows here. I mean, come on. No, it's not an electronic tablet. Hello. You will not believe it. It's made from what? It's made from flower. Flower, not flower roses. Flower, the one you made bread from. You know, flower. Hmm? And the edge of it is covered by Zabarjad. Zabarjad is a. Uh, I don't know what the word in English. Hmm. We need to translate this word. It's like a, a, an expensive stone, you know. It's not so expensive, but it is supposedly considered as a jewelry. Yeah, flower. Yeah, don't eat it. I hope the, the mice did not eat it. You know, I, I don't know how flower can survive the galaxy. I mean, the space. Any Muslim? No, I think maybe maybe like jade, something like this. Yeah, it's like a stone, but not really expensive. You know, it's not uh, that's not like diamond or no. Yeah, uh, in uh, in some hadith they say yaqut. Yaqut is like uh, a pearls, pearls. You know, yaqut. I mean, uh, Allah He decorated His tablet by yaqut. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Let us continue. Shall we? So the tablet of Allah, which he put, actually, why I'm doing this? Why about, what about I search? <sighs> give me a second, give me a second. I will try to find you something in English. I wish all of you, I want to buy, I want to I want to get the, the ring of Solomon. Which you hit somebody in his face, as the Quran says, and the the chapter is speaking about a jassasa, and will make you all either white or black. <laughs> the bent in your religion. <laughs> what a cult! I I like to be black. Finally, I get to be black. The day after, I will get a girlfriend. As long as I look the same way I look now, I will never get a girlfriend. I mean, I'm really. Desperate to change my color by the help of Allah because Allah he said uh, In the judgment day he will change our color all of us All those who don't believe in Allah they will turn to be black and this is my golden opportunity now uh, Let us search in English the tablet of Allah um, Okay, we found many articles. Let us see. The tablet of Allah. Look, I search for the tablet of Allah and look uh, what appeared for me in the screen. Seen our new project? What is that? A new tablet? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Okay, there. Okay, <clears throat> it says the tablet is the book of the Almighty Allah in which He has written all that will be till the day of resurrection. In the Quran, we have okay, and we have written in the psalm after the reminder, Verily, my righteous servants shall inherit the earth. Thus, the tablet means the reminder, a dhikr. Pen is that the name of the thing which, uh, uh, okay, caused the writing on the table. Hence, Allah has ordained the tablet uh, uh, to serve as an original record through which the angels, peace be upon them, acquired the knowledge of what's going to happen concerning what is hiding and what is inspired all right 
when Allah intended to acquire uh, 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 to acquaint the angels with some secret of his he sent revelation through them to one of the prophet peace be upon them he is uh, he commands them to consult the tablet <laughs> Yes, the truth. How are you? Assalamualaikum, brother. Um, brother, I uh, apologize. You are apologizing too eating, much. Um, because it's mm. time for iftar right now. Right, really. right. Okay. Where I live, that's why. Yeah. I, I hope to. Uh, All right. I can prove it. I can prove it. You can All prove right, it. Brother. Okay, go ahead. I, we are listening. Oh, no, no. I can make a screenshot of what time it is here. What? Maybe you don't believe that's actually time for iftar. What? No, no, no. I'm talking about the. the I don't care if you are eating or not, my friend. You can do whatever you want. Uh, no, no, maybe you think I ran away, brother. No, no, I you did not run away. Uh, no, Muslims never run away. What are you talking about? You know, only, only the prophet he ran away after after we broke his teeth, if you remember. But this is not the problem now. What do you think about this miracle? I send you the link. Uh, you, we were talking about the speed of light, right? Or yes, the uh, speed you of light. One? Yeah. <clears throat> um, let me see. I will go to YouTube and I will mute. I like uh, the way you clean voice. your throat. Like, uh, what is that? I mean, is that uh, because of the spell? Oh, no, I, I, I have ate something, right? So it's uh, still, stuck there. It must, be, it must be a fish. Food, it must I be just, the whale. I mm. broke my fast, man. I mm. broke my fast. I was so hungry today. Right, right. Okay. I broke on top. Let me see. Um, I see a screen of an uh, image with the earth. Wait, bro, do you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. Oh, okay. So what do you want me to do? Well, is that I true that the, the um, speed of light text, yeah? is the speed of the angels? Do you agree with the Muslims saying that? Do you agree that this is a miracle? Of course, that's the speed of light. That's, okay. that's a mathematical, uh, uh, scientific uh, miracle. Okay, that's mathematical. wonderful. All right, that's wonderful. So now, if the speed of light is the speed of the angels, hmm? That means we yeah. should be able to measure the location of Allah. Um, no, 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 no. What do you mean, no, no, no? Stop, if no. it says, it says. Hold on, it's, no hold, hold on, hold on, that, hold, on uh, hold on. You just say the speed of light. No one say uh, an angel went from Allah personally. Okay, no, it says, it says, here we go. Chapter, 50, oh, it, chapter 32, hard. chapter 32, verse number 5, it says, Allah rules the skies affair from the heaven to the earth then this affair traveled to him in the distance of one day at the measure of 1000 year of what you count yes okay so as long the distance from allah to us is 1000 year in our count and the speed and the speed of the angels is a speed of light Yes, okay. wait, uh, from all, us to Allah is a thousand years? Yes. I'm part of, um, heavens, from this travel from, uh, travels to if we have the speed, distance If we day. have the speed and we have the time, we can get the distance. I mean, simple mathematics. You see, by the way, because I no, finished, because I finished elementary school. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm very well educated. I finished elementary school. There can also be a teleportation, brother. Hmm? What? A tele teleportation. What the teleportation with that? What does that mean? I cannot even say the word, huh? <laughs> um, like uh, you know, you know what uh, dimension? You know uh -huh. what the dimension is? No, I do not know dimension. Like, so uh, um, what dimension? Allah have dimension. So let's say I go, I go thousand miles north. Hmm. I go, I go trillion miles north. Yeah, hmm. I go outside the universe and then million miles north, hmm. and then I see nothing, right? But, like uh, a multi universe, how the atheists say that that's also a evidence of the Quran, a mathematical. Uh, say, my friend, my um, friend, that is so, like it simple, isn't yes. it? Isn't it true? Mathematically, if we have the distance and the time, we can get the yeah. we, we, we uh, if we have the, the, the time uh, 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 and the speed, we can get the distance. That only if, if that thing is in this um, universe. What you know? No, no, no. Allah, Allah is using what is in this universe too. He is the one. He is. He is talking about this universe, but not the different universe. Huh? He's not in this dimension. No, he is because he's saying to you that one day for Allah is one thousand year for us. So Allah, when he when a one day pass over Allah 
it is 1000 year for us so Allah is still under the physique of timing so he have time but, but that's, not oh, that's not literal. no well, it's that's not, not it's not brother. because you said hold on if this is if this is a uh, uh, metaphorical then why you agree with them that the speed of light is the speed of the angels uh, because he he uh, it's like uh, hitting a bird with uh, no hitting two birds with one stone no look by 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 this by saying that the speed of the angels is not metaphorical you cannot say anymore that this is metaphorical verse because it is about what about the the angels going up to Allah and getting his orders how they get up in a day which equal to 1000 year so by saying the speed of the angels is the speed of light and measuring the day of Allah by the speed of light that's mean it's not metaphorical no more otherwise why you are using mathematics to measure the speed if it's not uh, 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 physically happening it is metaphorical Do you want to drink some water? Yeah, because now we found Allah. We found, we found Allah. He's not far away because one thousand year of our count. If we measure it with the with the with the speed of light, if we go down an article, they say the following: It is the angel who carry out those orders. Those people back then measured the distance neither in kilometer nor in miles. But rather by much time they need to walk for example a village two days Away meant a distance of Equivalent to walking for two days. That's wonderful ten days. That's mean it's meant a distance of equivalent walking for ten days That's wonderful. However in the verse in the Quran specify 1000 year of what they count not what they walk Those people back then followed the lunar calendar and counted the 12 lunar mo month each year those months are related to the moon not related to the sun hence one day to the angels will travel a distance of 1000 year of what they count the moon using the moon calendar since this verse is referring to the science to the distance then god saying that angels travel in one day the same distance that the moon travel in one uh, twelve thousand uh, lunar uh, orbit <laughs> what do you say mm. and until now i don't see i don't see the connection between the speed of light and this what is the speed of light uh, the muslim now they prove to us that oh uh, where is what is, um, is says the angels well, are they, if, if they are, you from Hmm. If you do some adding and dividing, okay, you actually have the exact number of the speed of light. I can. Uh, how, how is that? How is that? What the movement it. of the moon have to do with the speed of light? Is the moon moving the speed of light? No, but the amounts that um, Allah said is okay. And what, that okay. To the what, speed of what, light. Okay, well, hold on. What is the speed of light? Uh, speed of light is two nine 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 blah blah blah, and it's okay. like. Uh, maybe six seven others okay and then, uh... speed of light so the speed of light if we now it says that we are going to make it a 12 lunar orbit there's no mm -hmm. need to speak about the orbit just say uh, uh, one year correct it's 1000 year 1000 year the the moon calendar it doesn't matter really moon calendar or not that will not change anything so that's mean the speed of light x 1000 year of our days and this is where Allah is located. But, uh, no, the angels, not Allah. Allah just said uh, one thousand days for the angel one day. No, it's not for the angels. That's... It's not for the angels. Hmm? It's not for the angels. Oh, I... no, this is the distance. Oh. This is not for the angels. This is not for. But it is the distance which they need to go to Allah is one thousand years. And here I want to ask you another question, very simple one. Yes. Muhammad, he used to receive messages from Allah almost every day, correct? Yeah. Okay, Muhammad did not receive the Quran like in one book right away. It was verses after no, no, verses, no. correct? Okay. So now the angels, they came to Allah, to Muhammad, 
and they gave him a verse like the angel Jibreel. He came to Muhammad first time. Only the angel Jibreel. Only the angel Jibreel. Not only angels. Jibreel. Okay. Okay. Angel Jibreel. Okay. Angel. Okay. I will go with you. Okay. As long the angel Jibreel is one of the angels, and his speed is the speed of light. All right. And it takes him one thousand no, years. No, no, he's not an angel. He's an archangel, brother. It doesn't matter. Uh, it says the one who is in, in control of the earth is the angels. And you are saying to me, the one who do carry the orders of Allah is Jibreel. Who is the one who carried the order of Allah to Muhammad? <coughs> who? I'm waiting for an answer. Jibreel. I, okay, Jibreel. So don't tell me. Uh -huh. So Jibreel. So, no, Jibreel uh -huh. so Jibreel is the one who carry the orders. Okay, here the verse saying that the angels who carry the orders take them one thousand years. So the orders of Allah it take one thousand years to arrive to the earth. That's wonderful. One thousand years of our time. So Muhammad first time he saw the angel Jibreel, and you know the story. The angel Jibreel he squeezed him three times. Okay, and he gave him a verse where it says, "Read, Iqra." Now. Jibreel after he gave him this the first verse uh, He have to go back and he have uh, Let us say Allah is here and Now Jibreel he went all the way to the earth and Muhammad is here That will take him 1,000 year according to this verse to go do I agree Yeah, okay so this but, but it's not, that's that's just a regular angel. That's not the angel Jibril because Allah didn't give angels like he didn't have to travel to get the No, thing. he does. He no, just no, got no, no, no. It says, it says even in the article here, and Allah he says that he wrote all his orders in the tablet. In the same article in front of us, it says it clearly. Read with me carefully. This is not my yeah. statement. It says that Allah he wrote his orders where in a tablet, and the angels. Yes. The angels, it's angels who carry out God orders, and those angels they take their order from a preserved tablet somewhere in the outer space, correct? Yes. Okay. So now the angels they came here and they got the tablet. The tablet is here. This is the tablet. And they got mm. their order from the tablet. So when they went back. They went uh, down to, to Muhammad. They traveled for 1,000 years. Correct? Oh, yeah. That, oh, then it doesn't make sense. That's... Oh. Mm, what makes sense? Yeah. But, uh, all, right, all right. I got to admit. I okay. got to admit. Okay. Bottom, brother. All right. So, so, yeah, so, so scientific okay. uh, miracle That's of the okay. speed of so light. Now, so okay. So now the angel, the angel, my friend, he went there and he told Muhammad mm. the first verse, which is read. Read. <coughs> <coughs> right, let me see. Yeah. Uh, from where the angel he went to the earth, right? He went to Muhammad and he told him, Read, this is the first order. All right, Ikra, Ikra, Bismillah. Yes, okay, okay read. Ikra, now the angel he delivered him, he delivered him the order to read. All right, the angel now he will get the second order in order to come back. He need to go and travel for another 1000 year so he can carry the second order. So now the angel he have to come back to Allah or the tablet. And that means he need a thousand year to go back to Allah. So in order for the angels to come back yeah. again, he need two thousand years around the trip to come back to Muhammad to deliver the same, the second message. That's mean if Muhammad received the first uh -huh. squeezing, uh, 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 like fourteen hundred years ago, that's mean the second trip for the angel Jibreel should be six hundred years from now. That's mean all the stuff if, Muhammad is alive. What if but well, what if um Angel Jibril got all the informations from the tablet yeah. and then when Isa Ibn Maryam that, he that died will, that will, well, he arrived yeah. to heaven, mm. then he decided to go to the earth again for Prophet Muhammad that, that and he be... got every information from the tablet and then he gave, he, do, he don't need to go no and back for back for if you just memorize on, everything you can just okay, give it right on, away. Hold on, but that will be a problem. Because that will be a contradiction for the verse in front of us, chapter 32, verse number 5. Because it says that they ruled the affair by carrying orders from the tablet. Not all the orders are given to them, which means they keep going backward, forward. And even the article saying that the angels who carry out God's order, those angels take their order from a preserved tablet somewhere in the outer space. 
they don't have the tablet otherwise they will take even the whole tablet with them or let us say there is no need to go but the verse saying they travel in a distance of 1000 year to go to the tablet which means they are going back word for word yes hmm. that's mean Muhammad is a liar because if you receive the first message then the angel he need hmm. 2000 years 1000 years to go up 1000 years to come back so the second verse Muhammad he should receive it should be 2000 years after the first message <laughs> that, that, that's stupid man I mean that's so, stupid I know uh, this is Islam why this is why it's stupid what we can do I mean we can't fix that no, 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 I mean, I mean that means that it's metaphorical. So I understand. It is, you just say that the, speed of I understand. You just say that the Quran is stupid. I, I understand. No, no, stuff no, brother. I, know? I meant the Quran saying and it's like, hold on, hold the on. Of, the flame of the Muslims who bring it forth. That's stupid, okay. not the Quran. So now you are saying brother. that the speed of light miracle is a fabrication. We got that. But what do you yes, think about? Yes. Forget about the speed of light. I don't care now. It's stupid anyway. I agree with you. But now we have another problem. If the angel Jibril he gave Muhammad an order today in order to give him the second order he have to go back to the tablet and that will take him 1000 year and then to go back to the earth it will take him additional 1000 year that's mean the second verse Muhammad he need to receive after 2000 years yeah but it's not literally 2000 years what little Since we, no it says it says 1000 years of our time if our time no, my friend no, but that's what fickle then no okay you you see how it's going to be metaphorical if it's our time <laughs> metaphorical of what and you muslims you never explain it as metaphorical all read all the interpretation of islam all of them they say this is not metaphorical this is literally what happened Mm. Hmm. So what we will do now? Islam is a, is false. Muhammad he cannot be a prophet because in order to get the message, the second message, as you see, he have to wait for another thousand year to get the second message. Muhammad is a liar. <laughs> Islam gives you peace, brother. What does this have to do with my topic? Yeah, I saw the peace yesterday. They killed many people in the mosque, Pakistan. I know. A lot of peace, and yesterday they, 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 they attack a church. Just yesterday, just yesterday, they attack a church in Burkina Faso, and they killed four Christians while, while they are praying in, in the in the church. Islam is peace. We got that. We got that. But this is not my topic. Yeah, right, right. Now I'm asking you now. You agree that this is cannot be true? This is a this is a must a mistake. So how is how Muhammad is a prophet? Muhammad is a false prophet. I don't know, brother. Hmm. I'm confused right now, to be honest with you. Oh, you should leave Islam. I mean, come on, it's clear. But of course, I need to uh, look this up, right? Yeah, you know what? Each time I show uh, you something, so, uh, it's, each time I show you something, it, it's a disaster. You say to me, I will look it up, and you never come back after looking it up to tell me, okay. Look, look, this is what I found. Did you did you came back to me and says this is what I found? No, you you are trying. Oh, I, I I got I got the list, brother. I got the list. Okay, okay. Uh, look it up. Did you get the list of the previous things we spoke about? Yeah, I was. Okay. The video, brother. The, the second time we caught yeah, mm. uh, the arguments and everything. I asked the people. Mm. So, what are the answers? No, uh, no, not now, not not to be with you. No, not now, next year. Yeah, when the angels, this, when the angels come back, when the angels come back. Okay, so let us say, you see, you know, when you call me, you said that a Quran is full of uh, scientific miracles. Do you agree with that, or this is really a hocus a lie? Muslim defabricate. This one, it turned to be a lie for the, the, granted. It's not for the are, are, there are, but it's not direction. Give it's me like, one, give me one. It's not uh, meant to be scientific. Um, I can give you one, brother. Okay. Uh, there's uh, I can't choose right now. Let me see. A 
everything is created from water and the universe is expanding that's wonderful guys everything is created from water did he say that did you just say every living okay, being. hold on did you say every living being is created from water yes and the universe is expanding okay let me ask you shaitan is created from what oh what hello yeah it did not even take Smoke me a second it did not even take me but a second to get yeah, yeah. shaitan is created from fire so this is a lie okay second question what about the angels are they created from light or from water light okay so how the quran says everything 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 created from water Let me uh, bring the other scientific miracle brother. You just brought me one. Here we go. Even the article in front of us says the angels are low dynasty, like me, you know, and cre creatures, and that God created them originally from light. Okay. So, how everything is created from water? Maybe that, it means like these creatures whom we interact with. What? So like a it says dog, it says everything we created we created it from water everything so if it says everything it means also uh, no can't it can't it means like the ones living in earth well my friend the genie living in the earth too somebody told you that the genie they live in the second floor in heaven aren't they in the in the earth and even they go inside the uh, uh inside the the nose of the muslim and inside his anus by the way have you ever experienced something like this like the prophet says if you don't go in the bathroom you don't say a prayer shaitan he play with your anus did you like experience as a muslim any such an experience which is very painful no no, no? no. come so the prophet is lying don't because he said if you don't pray shaitan will do that to you So now the verse you gave me, the verse you gave me, yeah. that everything is created from water, is a joke. It's a con total contradiction for other verses in the Quran. Mm. Mm. So what we will do now? What? What about embryology? What about? No one embryology? knew this, right? Okay, let us see yeah, the embryology. I, I don't even know how to say the word. What you say? Embryology. It's, <laughs> it's very hard for me but because I'm an Arab. Uh, okay. What about it? Tell me about it. I'm, I'm learn from you. Uh, I am an Arab. I want to learn from you. Science. Go ahead. What about this? Uh, right. Uh, Arology? Right. My Arabic brother. Yeah. It says that, um, you know, the when the fetus is in the stomach, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, not stomach, but. Uh, um, the nose? the nose inside its mother right inside its mother inside its mother not inside somewhere mother. inside its mother yeah. then um, it behaves and it looks like a uh, you know these animals who uh, like they cleave on you and then uh, mm. what verse were you talking about is that a chapter 23 verse 14 maybe mm -hmm. uh, let me see. okay here we go chapter but this verse is proving to us that muhammad is a false prophet it says oh how, how this this a miracle brother okay let's see let's see uh, don't uh, jump uh, hold on yeah, okay, brother, yeah, yeah, it yeah, easy. Yeah, then then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood now who is the okay. donkey in the world who believe that a sperm transform into a dead blood yeah. give me the name of that donkey if he is a scientist only uh, it says cling clock on my uh, translation no problem but it says alaka okay the verse saying that the sperm will transform the sperm will transform into a baby is that scientifically accurate the first stage is yes. will be a blood the second stage yes. will be a loom and the third stage is the loom will be a bones well, who is who is the crazy who come with this the sperm don't transform to be a baby and don't transform to be a blood. So the first stage of the baby is a blood. That is a bloody teaching, my friend. Oh. 
By the way, you yourself, um, you used to be a sperm. I, I don't know what to blood. say. I swear I don't know what to say, man. You don't I, know what to say. You are the one who mentioned this to me. You are the one who mentioned this miracle for me. You forgot. I mean, you mentioned it. I thought you like this is the, the the something strong you have to prove it to us. Why are you mention it then if you don't know what to say? Well, it says it behaves like a um, leech. Are you are you married? Are, like you, are, you, are you are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Soon, man. Soon. Soon. Okay. I, I, I gotta. I, I want to. I want to okay. okay. give you an advice before you get married. If you, I don't know if you are yeah, good looking, yeah. if you are good looking or uh, 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 bad looking like me. Yeah, oh yeah, man, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Good looking? Oh, no, 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 you good looking, man. You no, good. You got a nice voice. You everything. The only man. one she see me good looking is my my mother. But all you know, even monkeys, their mother, they think they are good looking. But anyway, <laughs> the messenger of Allah said, "The man water yes. is a thick and white, and the woman water is a thin and yellow, and which." Ever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Do you agree with yeah. this madness? Yes. Do you agree with this? It can be true. The, the, it really? can be true. So if you have orgasm first, the baby will be uh, uh, like you. And if, uh, <laughs> if, if the wife, no, no, but brother, brother, it's not like uh, you don't need to have uh, instantly that because. There's also pre orgasm, right? So, so I don't care if pre orgasm I, after orgasm. What pre orgasm? I'm asking you here. He says, Whoever comes first, whoever comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Do you agree with this? Yeah, 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 but it doesn't have to be the big orgasm or something, man. It can just be the pre one because uh, the what pre one, pre -one? what does have to do with what does have to do with what does have to do with the look of the baby about who have orgasm first, pre one or after one? What are you talking about? What does have to do with the look? The look is in the DNA, correct? Say again, the look is in the DNA. So you come first, you yeah. come after. Would not change anything because the DNA is there anyway. So what the look have to do with this? No, but a child, yeah, he might look more like his father than his mother. Yeah, but what does have to do with coming first? That this uh, thing added uh -huh. up by. Uh, what I don't want to. Oh, if I talk, people will think I'm crazy or something. But no, 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 my friend, you're not crazy. It's your prophet, the crazy. No, we will not think you are crazy. It's Muhammad who's crazy. We understand. But tell us how, if you have orgasm first, the baby will be uh, look like you. And by the way, here, it's really crazy. I mean, what does have to do? There's a mo uh, ninety-nine percent of Muslim women they never have orgasm because they do circumcision for them. Even the prophet wife, she never have orgasm too. So, so I just want to know the truth, brother, mm. and I'm here just to learn. So I don't, I don't want the, um, anyone to uh, put me in high. I thought I'm just here to give my uh, the, uh, uh, my arguments and stuff. Mm. So what I think, and I, of course, it may be true. There's no evidence, it's evidence it's that true. this is not true. It's true. You know, I know. Like you see, uh, I uh, I used to have two cats, and a male cat and female cat. Yes. The cat. The female cat she have orgasm first and then she gave baby they look like the elephant i mean what are you talking about what does this have to do with this <laughs> my friend go to google and you will see that the look have nothing to do with this this is crazy this is stupid you are smarter than this you, yeah brother. you have the internet the internet which is made by the kufar search it internet hmm. All right, brother. I will take uh, yes. Thank you, brother, for this conversation, brother. You're welcome. I respect you, and uh, you know, I hope we see the true light, inshallah. Or you know, we never know, man. Everything can happen, but peace, peace to you. All right, thank you very much for calling me. Feel free to call yeah. me again anytime you wish. No problem. Yes, brother. Take next. Who is next? What is this? So you you know you give us headache about uh, science, 
you know your science does not even stand a second with me anyone any Muslim so why they lie to us and they say there is science why they lie I mean what the purpose of this line the purpose is very simple they deceive you they assume that you are a person who read an article you will not investigate you don't speak Arabic uh, you don't have knowledge of the cult of Islam and they will believe when they mix between science and the and the Quran and they believe that they can fool you this is a very stupid attempt it might succeed sometime right any muslim <clears throat> Somebody saying about Jesus uh, saying that this hour this generation will not pass and when those things will happen Jesus he was talking about the generation who would witness the last thing he mentioned <clears throat> When I say to you those things will happen this and this and this and this and this and this and then I say to you and this and that generation Who witnessed those things they will not die before the judgment they will come so this is not about witnessing witnessing uh, 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 like uh, uh, th those who he's talking to uh, uh, in front of him all those things when all those things happen all those things they witness because they witness already because they happen in the past all those things they witness it this generation before they die, they will witness the judgment day. All right. Do we have any Muslim? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Any Mohammedan? Anyone? So we notice here, you know, always Muslims, they come to us and they, uh, uh, they make articles. And those articles are very, uh, very funny. And it doesn't take me even a second to debunk and torture those articles. It's a joke. It's a shame, actually. It's a shame that a religion uh, which you claim uh, to be serving God you see when you see somebody uh, he called himself a monk or a sheikh or Buddha or a Christian or anything you know you assume uh, you know like um, honesty because he's a religious man so why religious people they fabricate lies to promote their religion unless the religion there is something wrong with it Right? Obviously, there's something wrong.
Any Muslim? The one who is asking what I was answering about, about uh, this generation, I was answering about Jesus saying about the signs of his kingdom to come, the judgment day, when he said this generation uh, will not pass away until those things have happened. Those things will happen, which means this generation who will witness those, not the people who they are in front of him. Because Jesus said it clearly, he will go, he will send the Comforter, he will stay with us until, uh, so, uh, you know, he's, he's talking about, obviously, long period of time. And he spoke about the gospel will be published and taught around the globe, everywhere in this earth. And he sent his disciples to teach and preach the gospel. So, it's a long journey, a lot of time will pass before those things happen. But this generation who witnessed those things happened, they will not pass before the judgment day come. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muhammadan he have anything to say? What is the what is the miracles? I like those miracles. So, so good, man, brother. That's so good. I mean, those miracles are so beautiful. Miracles of the Quran. The Quran contains scientific knowledge. Hmm. What is the scientific knowledge? Hey, my friend, we did. Uh, we got this guy busted many time. This guy, he called himself a rabbi to weave a singer. He is no rabbi. And he is, the only thing about him is true. He is a singer. This guy is a hypocrite. And he, uh, you know, uh, he uh, he defend Islam, attack a Christianity because he work, he live in Indonesia. He's a potato. And we got him busted. Go and search Christian Prince to weave a singer. And we challenge him to debate me the coward he will never even and even his phone calls he receive it's fabricated it's recorded and they make it as if it's live on air and he said uh, one of the things he said that the word ikhad does not mean trinity when the bible in the old testament says in the old testament not only in the new testament that the man and the women the man he leave his family and we became a chad with his wife. So this guy is just a kid. How we got them busted. Now who is a Muslim here would like to call us? See guys, isn't it, isn't it really wonderful that we Christians, we arm ourselves with knowledge and then no Muhammadan can ever dare to get close to us when we have knowledge? That's wonderful, right? You will notice that you are, of a, you are a person who have ignorance. And all of us, we have ignorance, by the way. Like me, if you give me to, uh, uh, if you ask me to write a letter in English, you will find many grammar, grammatical mistakes in, the, in my writing. Because I am somehow ignorant in English. All of us, we have our spots of ignorance. And the Muslims, they will look for your weakness. Where is your weakness? You do not know Islam that is a great person to debate because now we can attack a Christianity and he cannot get us busted using Islam are you getting the point this is why what we do here is extremely important when a Muslims he tried to attack a Christianity don't answer him from the Bible you are wasting your time he, even if you answer him 1,000 times you say okay I don't believe in the Bible anyway this is why you remember, 
a Muslim he called me and he was so upset and he said to me why you are using our logic don't use our logic this is what he said literally don't use our logic because the second you lose their logic the second Islam is busted Can you explain the Sabia? No, the Sabia are not the same as Islam, but Muhammad he copied it from the Sabia. The Sabia, they are people who believe that if, uh, angels are like gods, they created this earth, they created many things in this earth. The creators for the Sabias have ranks, so there is rank like one, two, three, four, etc. So angels are ranks. And they are uh, there, and there is a stars who have ranks of, and, and they create too. So this is why we see if it's very strange when Muhammad he said that the Sabia and the Christians and the Jews they will go to heaven because how the Sabia they enter this group. What the Sabia have to do with those group, the Christians and the Jews. They are not worshiping the same God of the Sabia. Actually, the Sabian, they, they they hate, they hate Adonai, they hate Jehovah, they hate Elohim. Anyone knows why? Why the Sabia they hate this name? Who knows? Let us see how many of you is learning from what we teach. Why the Sabian? This is chapter two, verse number sixty-two. Why the Sabia, or the Sabian? why they hate the god of the jews no they don't worship allah and they have nothing to do with allah that's a, that's false the sabi and they hate the jews because the god of the jews he killed the pharaoh and his army or let's say he killed the the army of the pharaoh The Pharaoh people, they are Sabi and at least according to the Sabi and as they believe. So Adonai or Elohim or Jehovah is the God of the Jews who he killed the army of the Pharaoh. He killed the Sabi and so they believe that he is their enemy. So how we can put them together? But this is can be explained very easy. Muhammad is a hypocrite man. And in the beginning of his journey, claiming to be a prophet, he wanted the support of everybody. Nobody believed in him. So he starts saying, okay, Jews, Christians, Sabian, anyone who believe in Allah in the last days, he is going to heaven. Later, Muhammad, he changed. Christians, Jews, go to heaven. Why you are calling me, my friend? Only Muslims call me, please. Don't call me. Do you see the hypocrisy? He was talking to the same Christians in his time. How the Christians, they are people who will go to hell because they corrupted the book. Yet Muhammad here, he promised them they will go to heaven. How the Jews who corrupted the book and they are the enemy of Allah, they will go to heaven. How the Sabians who worship stars, they will go to heaven. The Sabian, not exactly. The Sabian, there, there's a connection between them and as a, as a, as a, like, you know, you see, uh, those Sabian is not only just one group too. It's like there is a groups of them. Uh, to speak about the Sabians, we have to like there's a uh, there's a their book. It's called Kenza Rabba. And uh, Kenza Rabba, actually, I have the book here. I, I read their book when I was, I think I was nine years old. <laughs> uh, actually, the, the one I, 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 I did read, it was not really the book, it was a summary about their book. Uh, anyway. Brother. Uh, Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Go ahead. Hi there, brother. Um, my name is Shmaki Noor, and um, I'm Somali. So Somali has about 98.2% Muslims. All right. 
So the problem is me, I'm not Muslim, I left. So every time I debate, every time I talk to him, I give him the clear evidence. They just don't, they waste my time and there's nothing that can do them. Mm. Well, so, you're not wasting your time, my friend. Let me tell you, explain to you something. Uh, have you ever seen a faucet somewhere like a, a, a dropping water in in a in a in a in the ground, and there is a hole in the ground? Yes, sir. Okay. So a drop of water is very soft, right? It's very weak. Okay. Okay. Still, it can make a hole in the rock. Okay. You are that water, my friend. So what do you want me to say? To, like I gave them all the evidence of it's, it. It's what they, the deny, culture they thing. deny in the beginning. Yes, as I said, you are the same as that water. It takes time. They try to resist okay. because it's very harmful. You know, you are speaking to a rock, and okay. this rock is a rock. It's a stubborn. It's hard. So this rock trying to fight the water. The water is very soft. Still, okay. the water will win. Why? Because you are yeah. consistent, and you are truthful, okay. and you will go through. Yeah. Right, so my friend. next question is I'm not Christian so um, I left Islam so why should I believe in Christianity because I came from a cult before well, so, why you don't believe in Christianity did you study Christianity did you search it I looked into it but in the sense of like saying that the original sin does not make sense to me so just enlighten me okay what original sin according to your understanding what does that mean my understanding from Christianity is not as strong as like I have some beliefs that I was instilled in from a young age hmm. But what original sin for you? I mean, the way, because you're saying it doesn't make sense. Adam, so I want to say, Adam, what is Adam, making sense? What about it? Go ahead. From Adam, from the sense of like Adam, like Adam did the original sin, hmm. and then Jesus came, and then Jesus like um, repent. Not I don't know if it's like repent or he died for the sins. I'm just a little bit confused on that. Let me explain to you. You see, when okay. we say the original sin, it's very simple. Why okay. Adam was kicked out from heaven because he could he he did sin, correct? Correct. Okay. That is original sin, but doesn't mean that I am uh, going to hell yeah. just because Adam he commits sin. No, okay. original sin mean that Adam was a sinner. I am a sinner too, and now yeah. original sin, which is the reason for us to be out of heaven, but yet yeah. still we are sinners too. Which means if we go in heaven back, uh, God will 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 take us out because we 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 did the same as Adam. So now we have the original sin, which means it is us who carry the sin of Adam, not by inheritance, by blood, but we did the same as Adam did. We, we commit sin every day. So original sin is with us, which means we are the human who commits sin, disobeying God. And we cannot go back to where we are kicked out from heaven unless we are going to be forgiven. So when we say that Jesus, he paid for our sin, it doesn't mean that Jesus, he gave you a license to sin. Jesus yeah. is simply what what this uh, what uh, what uh, what Christianity believe that like I, I know that sometimes it's confusing when Christian they say Jesus he paid for our sin and then uh, a Muslim or non-Muslim he will say uh huh so uh, okay Christians uh, Jesus paid for their sin so they can sin no yeah. Jesus said not yeah. everyone says to me God God. Lord okay. Lord will enter the kingdom of my father okay but the one who do his will so be you know be, be being our savior it does not mean that we are welcome to do sin and sin more as we wish being our savior mean that okay you're being kicked out from heaven for committing sin and you are a sinner the same as your father which mean Adam still okay. I am willing to save you and accept you in my heaven if you do my will. So saving to be saved by Jesus have conditions. And you cannot be hypocrite and yet you will be saved. Correct. If we go to John, we will find Jesus clearly saying that he is the living God and he is the one who is going to save us from you know uh, from uh, the hell to come to us is going to is coming it's a it's just a matter of time when this hell is going to come however the messiah now he don't judge us he gave us opportunity to repent and if we repent and we follow him then we are going to be forgiven and we will be taken to the kingdom of god so paying for our sin does not mean a license for sin 
absolutely not actually it's the opposite Jesus he make it more strict Jesus he said if your eye will mislead you cause you to go to hell you better take it off from your head so the the eye will go better than all of you go to hell so okay. Christ he make it more strict to be out of sin far away from sin not yeah. as some Muslim they try to make you believe that okay the Christian they say that Jesus he paid for our sin that's mean we can go and we can sleep around and we can take drugs and we can uh, do all kind of sin that's yeah. only in Islam in Islam the Muhammad and the Quran Allah he told him we forgive your sin in the past and the one to come we don't believe in such a garbage do you understand what so, I'm saying? Okay, in the context of like Muhammad, right? He like he's forgiven for his sins and whatever he did, right? Before he even did it, correct? Before even he do it, it's in the future. This is chapter forty-eight, verse number two. Yeah. two. It's in the screen. I'm showing it. So yeah, Allah forgive your sin, and the Muslim they fabricate the saying your fault. In Arabic, it says them baka and them is a sin. Change the translator. You will see right away how the translation changed. They have no shame to lie. That Allah may forgive thee of the sin that which in the past and which is to come in Christianity This is absolutely against God God did not forgive our sin to come and God don't forgive our sin to in the past unless we repent And we promise that we will fight our sin So this is why Jesus said not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father But the one who do his will which mean in order to go there it's not saying to me God God will be saving you You know what I mean? Yeah in the Muslim right if all you got to do is take a shahada and you're good to go no matter what Say correct? shahada there's many ways to forgive sin in Islam if you repeat the name of Allah 33 time Allah forgive you yeah. take it to brother I mean, so in the say, context of like, 33 uh, time, uh, context of like going to hell all you got to do is repent and uh, not repent all you got to do is say the kalima you don't have to do everything yeah. but eventually you will get you will get out of hell, correct? No matter what, you eventually, if you're a Muslim, you will go to Jannah. Yes, not necessarily repent, Muhammad. Uh, In Islam, I thought it was said that if you, um, if you, um, if you say the kalima, right, no matter what sins you do or everything, you will first go to hell and for whatever time, as long as you said the kalima, you good to go to Jannah in Islam. Yeah, and there's there's tons of stories. As example, if you even touch the black stone in the Yemeni corner, yeah, you will go to heaven. So and in Christianity, so you know, in Islam, you got to pray five times a day. So I want to know: Do you actually have to, like, with all your heart, believe? Can I not just gamble it away and say, "Okay, I accept Jesus as my savior," no, and then not practice? No, you have to believe. Otherwise, you see, this why is this why Jesus said, "If you go to Matthew, Matthew yeah. chapter seven, we're reading from chapter seven. Uh, let me read okay. it for you on the screen. Uh, in Matthew chapter seven, uh, Jesus okay. said, "Not everyone." Uh, uh, says to me God God which mean okay you can say God God but you cannot fool me you cannot lie to me you know yeah. this is this is a deception the, the, Jesus yeah. don't accept deceivers and liars so either you are okay. a believer who believe truly okay. or you are a non-believer and you okay. cannot lie to God because when you say God God what what is the point of saying not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father which mean okay, okay. you say Shahada Hey God God I believe in you I believe in you but when in in, in real life you yeah. do totally the opposite why because you are a liar and you cannot lie to God we will be carefully this is Jesus talking okay. it is not everyone that says to me my Lord my Lord who okay. entered the kingdom of heaven but whoever does his the will of my father who is in heaven so what is the condition to go to heaven in Christianity yeah is to do not to say okay there's a huge difference between say because talk is cheap as we say right okay imagine we have a poor guy and he is dying from hunger and then we say yeah. uh, I pray that uh, God will feed you will you feed him yeah. you know what about you feed him so yeah. It's not what you say, it's what you do. This is why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So how the Messiah, he will recognize us from our fruits, not from our names. I can call myself a Christian prince and might be the biggest sinner ever. Yeah. So calling myself a Christian, wearing a cross, will not make me Christian. 
So um, why should I believe in Christianity? Because I left Islam, right? So because I watched your stuff and everything, it's easy. You know what I mean? It's easy for like you tell people, like you tell us, like what's wrong with Islam and everything. Hmm. And I seen it and I did my research. But then yeah, I, I don't see why should I believe in Christianity? Why should I not be just an atheist? Okay. Did you leave Islam because you're watching my videos? Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Let, let, now let me ask you: When you say yeah. why I should believe in Christianity, who said that yeah. you should? This is not about you should. It's about okay. the right thing to do. You see, okay. there's what, evidence, what evidence you have that Christianity is right. Well, Go everything, back. everything, you know. Uh, okay, uh, you, you see, the first thing a, a second ago I told you, Jesus said, "From their yeah. fruits you shall know them." Correct. Okay. So it, it has a practice the logic of the Messiah on him. Okay. And if he is a hypocrite, then he is not the one to follow. If okay. he is a person who kept everything he said and he practiced everything he said, that's mean he is the one to follow. So okay. did Jesus rape, kill, steal? Did Jesus teach hate? Did Jesus say something and do something? Like Jesus in the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. He forgave those who were killing him okay. okay and look how this match with Jesus teaching when they said to him how we pray he says okay. say this our father out of heaven and then he said forgive to us the same as we forgive to others so what is the first requirement to be a Christian <laughs> to be in the kingdom of God that you are a person who forgive and what Jesus did in the cross he forgive yeah he forgive who he forgive not somebody he took a food from him or money mm -hmm. he forgive those who they are crucifying him in the moment he is dying in the cross and now he is worried about them thinking about their salvation saying father forgive them and here you notice that what jesus say in the okay. previous when he was relaxing not being tortured or killed it was exactly what he did and this is how you know who is truthful who is not there's a person yeah. he says to you i will stand with you if you are hungry I will be with you if you are fighting. I will be with you if you if, if somebody attack you. When when the risk come, they will be the okay. first one to flee. Okay. You will have people they are coming to visit you when you are rich, but when you are poor, nobody comes to your home. Okay. This is how you know who is the true friend and who is not. And that is Jesus, my friend. But the Messiah, he could not save himself from the cross. Why no, he should did, I? My friend. No, he oh, this is why we believe in the resurrection. Because okay. resurrection is about okay. Imagine yeah. you kill me, I come back to life. So how you say I'm not I did not save myself. But I was not there to like witness the the there's I many, seen this like four there's witness many things, or like there's four many things, my friend. Did you witness your birth? Me? Yeah. But I know the impact of I could not be alive without no, no, birth. No, I'm asking you, did you witness your birth? My birth? Huh? I did not witness it, but did I know that you witness the birth of your mother. Born. Okay, did you witness the birth of your mother with my respect to her? Um, I, I did not witness it, but without her, I could not be logically All right. without her, I could not so be here. Did you witness the did you did you witness uh, the waves? The waves, like what radio wave? waves. Did you witness them? The what waves, say it again. Waves, 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 like radio waves. Radio waves? Yeah. I, I don't I did not witness it, but I know without it there could be no but like radio if, waves if, or like okay, X-ray and all the other stuff. If a five hundred years ago, if a five hundred years ago. I okay. say to you, there is something called wave, and somebody will speak from China, and you can hear him in USA. You will laugh at me, correct? Okay. okay. So, could you show me the evidence that five hundred years ago, that the past, like I don't know who said that, yeah, they will become a savior. Could you just tell me that what evidence well, you have Jesus, for that? Jesus, he said that two thousand years ago. I'm not talking about the wave now. I'm talking about things which is not seen. The reason you are saying to me, I don't okay. believe because I can, I don't see Jesus, right? Yeah, no, I don't see. I don't. It's not about seeing. It's about evidence. Could you give me evidence? If like, there's enough like, evidence, like yeah, I'll do it right evidence, now. Like what? If you give me evidence that's like what, solid what, proof, what I'll evidence? accept it right now. What What kind of evidence we are talking about? Like evidence, like in the Quran, you know how they say like there's scientific evidence or like any. Uh, give me evidence that's clear, like clear, clear as day. Well, you know, we don't care really for science much, but the, the Bible is full of those. As an example, the the Bible speak about the earth is hanged on nothing. And mm -hmm. the the circle of the earth, the globe of the earth, but mm -hmm. we, this is not a way for me to prove that the God is uh, true. I mean, this would be silly because uh, there is many things we don't agree with. That doesn't agree with science. As an example, uh, Jesus is born of a virgin. That is not scientific. But that's a miracle, though. Okay, thank you very much. So, 
when we say it's a miracle even science even scientists there's things they can't explain they say it's a miracle like there's somebody have a cancer he healed they say it's a miracle yeah. why because they can't explain what happened so yeah. even science cannot explain many things around us and even scientists they call it a miracle and God yeah. himself is a miracle so everything around you is a miracle yeah. you know imagine the 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 way of a production which mean you one day or me and you one day we used to be a little tiny cell in the mother and then that thing grow and became a baby and then it become you and me that is a miracle uh, the, the 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 earth the beauty uh, the universe it's it is a miracle and nobody can enter now no science can explain it, it whatever a, a theory they come with it's a theory nobody witnessed the big bang as they claim but yet some many people believe in it but there's many scientists don't believe in it so yes. everything around us is a matter of belief including science you know many people believe in the big bang but there's nothing nobody can practice the big bang nobody witnessed the big bang but yet they believe in it and here you see the contradiction of those who call themselves atheists they refuse to believe in God because they do not see God what and about they, agnostic then agnostic is a somebody he's confused about his gender as I see it like somebody he's not <laughs> sure he's a male or female you know what agnostic? no but it's like I believe in God but I just don't follow the religion because no, like no, no, as no, a sense, see, I just have a question for you were you born Christian uh, uh, there's nothing it's called born Christian Christianity you have to be I mean, did you, was your, okay let me say was your parent Christian yes correct yes. right yes yes but I am so, not following I'm yeah. not following I am a thinker I am a thinker oh, okay. not only just a believer so and I think you can tell right I spend a lot of my time in my life reading and studying and searching so mm -hmm. uh, we don't believe that a person who is born as Muhammad Muhammad he believe that everyone is born as a Muslim and then his parents they make him a Jew or a Christian or a Jew it's a isn't that so yeah no Muslim no, no I'm not disagreeing no, Islam does not false. make sense no. I want to talk about Christianity no Islam 100% don't make sense and I fully agree on that and I'm Somali and it's the sense of like in Somali the people don't know science they don't know they just in lieu with the donkeys man so anyway, there's no way of fooling them so in order for me to prove to you yeah. uh, uh, the Messiah uh, yeah. uh, I don't know really what to prove you are looking for but I advise you to ask the Messiah himself to prove himself to you because Christianity is a personal experience more than it is a group you see there's a there's a theory is called the the cattle theory which mean uh, everybody buying this clothes we buy all of us the same fashion everybody eating this uh, going to this restaurant we go like the more the more people they go there the more people join not because it's convincing just because there's a lot of people go there like if you go to a restaurant and you see it empty you don't feel like going in because why it's empty but yeah. if you get a group of people just you can try it with your friends get five six people in the street and make them look down in the ground and make a circle you will find that people they come and join the circle just to look what they are looking at so this is this is a, this is a cattle like the animal theory how we behave we don't want to be that Christianity is God inviting you as an individual not as a group everyone should have his own experience with the Lord and he would answer you so so if I just accept the Lord right as my Savior no right? no no, no. Have not, to, like, before you accept him, no, no 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 Jesus said listen Jesus said knock at the door and I will open for you and the one who knock is not somebody really is a believer already yeah. he's trying to, to believe he's trying to see he's trying to, to find out this is why you know in order to find him you have to look for him and then he yeah. will answer you so what about you start reading the gospel the four gospels of Jesus and then let us see what the gospels would do with you speak yeah. try to be spiritual not somebody he want to just read you know like yeah. it's a magazine so yeah. have, try to have, find a relationship with the yeah. one who says those words and I'm sure he will be there otherwise if you say to me how you can prove to me Jesus okay well how I can do that to you you know I believe that Jesus uh, uh, as a person uh, yeah. he's amazing he's yeah. very beautiful I'm not talking about a look he's very yeah. beautiful uh, uh, in teaching in ethic uh, in peace yeah. and the most thing is attractive for me about the Messiah is uh, when he said uh, love your enemy okay when I say when I say somebody says to me love my enemy I mean this guy is not this this person let's say he's a guy he's a man he said yeah. something is not what a human say not there's no human in this earth ever said love your enemy 
that no, is no, yeah i get it yeah even in the quran that um allah he still punishes people and he says i'm the most merciful of the most merciful and i've looked at the bible matthews whatever it says even if they hate you or even they don't love you show them something i don't remember exactly what it was what yeah. verse was that but here you will find the secret about god how to find god as i said to you okay. that from okay. their fruits you shall know them and that is the okay. fruit of jesus so okay. uh, 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 and for sure now there's many miracles happening in the name of jesus but okay. you will not believe in them unless they happen in front of your eyes correct Okay. okay well there is a miracle just happened last week you can go and check it out every year there's a light come from the empty tomb of the Messiah in Jerusalem every year for the last 2,000 years and nobody knows how this happened there's miracles happen every day but as I said this is a personal experience people he got healed people uh, they have miracles they witness miracles in their life but again this is something personal if it's personal, how do you not know if that's like their brain playing tricks on them or they're having like Muhammad being sacrophanic, imagining stuff? No, no, there's things you cannot imagine it. I mean, if somebody was dying and something happened to save him, that's not imagining, you know, there's a huge difference. And as I said, again, this is a, a personal experience. This yeah. is a personal experience. Uh, uh, and you have, you yourself, you have to live it. So in, in order to, to know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so I cannot really I cannot say to you uh, You have to believe in Jesus, but okay. I say to you He is the only way for salvation and then so my next question is mm -hmm. like in Islam right? You know how like if the message comes to you there's like a, if you arrogant like if the message comes to you like now Right you're giving me the message right and it's clear right if I don't accept it Am I going to hell because you gave me the message and told me about it my friend? It's not me who decide who go to hell who go to heaven. I am a sinner like you. I know better than you Okay. Uh, but okay. it is the Messiah who gave you a chance. This is why I just said to you, he said, knock at the door and I will answer you. So it's not just like a one-time deal. As long you are breathing before you die. Okay. And you, let us say, before you die, but okay. it's not your plan. You know, it's not, as I said, not everyone says to me, God, God, which means the second you say that, you have to be a really, truly a believer. You get my point? So, yes, like I say, I wanna, I wanna, I, I'm dying now. Somebody shot me. Oh, okay. I say, oh, Jesus, I believe in you. You cannot fool God. That's it. Yes. Because he knew your heart. So, you have to be a believer. And you have to be a person who is willing to do the will of God. Okay. And what that will save God? you. That That's will that. save you. So, the, the fruits you do is something will follow automatically by the belief you do. Which means, we as a Christian, we are not saved by the fruits. We are saved first by the belief, which means if I believe and I don't have the fruits, that means I am a hypocrite, I am a liar. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. It's like a tree. Jesus, he gave an example of the figure tree. There's a tree which does not give fr a fruit. And then even Jesus is asking the tree to give a fruit when it's not even a season for it. And this is an example for us because I can say it's not my time. There's nothing that's called my time for Jesus or for God. You are born to give a fruit. You are existing this earth to give a fruit. So not everyone says to me, God, God, you say God, God, then you should be a person who changed. The believe it changed you. So how come you say God, God, but you don't do the will of God? And what is the will of God? To be loving, to be merciful, to be, uh, to be giving. Uh, uh, to be harmless to people, uh, to help the poor, to help the old, to help, I mean, all the good fruits, which is automatically, but yet it's not the fruit is saving you, but the fruit have to come from a true believer, which means if you are a true believer, then that fruit will not come from you. I don't know what to say, man, because it's really, it's just really hard, you know what I mean, coming from, from something I believed in my whole life, leaving my whole culture and my religion, and now it's just really hard man because i just don't know what to say because it's not because i don't want to accept it's just i don't know because because like there's a lot of stuff i just don't know what to say man but i am just I gonna don't, do. i don't want yeah. you to say i believe if you don't but if you believe i invite you right now if you feel that christ is really the one and the way if you believe that in your heart i invite you right now uh you know to to accept the messiah as your savior because you know First of all, me as a believer, um, we do not know when me or you will die. Maybe now, after two minutes, I will die. You know, 
Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you never know. So salvation is not really uh, a joke to play with. Uh, you yeah. can delay uh, buying a car. Uh, you can delay going a trip. But uh, you delay salvation, you might lose it forever. So I take the advantage and the opportunity to save a person. I believe he, he you know, he, uh, he deserved to be saved. And I believe that you are a good person. So I invite you to believe in the Messiah as your own personal savior. And he will guide you. He will, he will, you know, he will, he will, he will be with you. He said, every two mention my name, I will be between them. I will, which means I will be the third. So right okay. now we speak about him. He is listening to us. And the Bible says, a rejoice, a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for somebody he was saved. So now if you are saved, imagine this is how beautiful our Lord is. Happiness for the kingdom of God will be for you, my friend. So I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. As you said, man, words are cheap. You know what I mean? I don't want to go on air and say I accept it because, man, you still do not give me enough evidence to like, if you, I'm just asking for enough evidence that I'll do right now, man. I'm a logical sound person. I'm mm. a person that makes sense. So just give me, just give me some evidence well, I, that's I don't know clear. What evidence you are looking for? I'm not sure what evidence you are looking for. What What is the evidence of what? A any evidence, man? Like is that like not getting any evidence? Like what? Any man, anything you can think of. Anything. I don't know what does that, that mean? I mean, what is uh, what does that mean? What evidence? Okay, let me just say this. Why do you believe in? Why are you so certain Christianity is correct? Uh, because simply, you know. Uh, the second you believe in the Messiah, you are a different person. You know, okay. when, I, when I was a kid, I was a very uh, aggressive. Yeah. Uh, I like to fight. And if somebody yeah. look at me, I jump on him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I go in the street. If somebody just look at me, I, I go for a fight. Why are you looking? So yeah. the Messiah, he changed me totally. From a person to a person. There is no way to explain it. But there's some Muslim people that that come to Islam, they do crime and everything, and then they feel differently. That's exactly. They do crimes, but they do more crimes because Islam increases violence, not decreases. No, I'm saying in the context of the in the, that's a, Islam is a bad example, but um, Islam is really a bad example. No, but no, it's not um, a bad example. example no, 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 um, it's a perfect example, my friend. Huh? The the God I mean, you follow. No, Islam is a perfect example because look, you will see a yeah. person who was not killing anyone. And then he convert yeah. to Islam, and second day he want to do jihad, right? Yeah, but then so the, yes, you know some people like no, in Quran, Satan, my friend, it's literally it's like yeah, the slay the disbeliever where you see them. Some people just avoid that kind of stuff and just take the good, goody goody, just don't. a good part of it. No, they don't. They don't. You see, when you are a Muslim, when you okay. convert to Islam, you believe in okay. violence. You don't believe in peace. So uh, uh, if he don't do it now, doesn't mean he don't believe in it. So doing it because maybe he is not a true believer. He is not okay. yet. He is not okay. yet brave. Not true believer. Okay, good. My, my parents are Muslim, but they don't go to jihad. They don't because go to jihad. They are not a true my believer. Trust Muslim. me, because they, don't go to jihad. Friend, because they are not a true believers. If it, if uh, because the, the Quran says it clearly that the best believer is the one who do jihad. What does it say that? All over the Quran, my friend. You Could know. You show me. I, I want to see exactly what it says. Those ones. Who are the best? I never saw that ever. All right, Let us I, just want, I know it says slay the disbeliever where you see them, and if they if they don't accept that, I've seen those stuff. But I'm talking about in the Quran, not Hadith. You want Quran? Not yeah, hadith. not Hadith. Quran. Okay. Let us see from the Quran. Do you, can you see my screen or you don't see my? Yeah, screen? I can see it. I can see it. I'm using my phone. Okay. I'm using my phone. Go ahead. Okay. Uh. Let us see. <clears throat> Even though I know Islam is bad and everything, but I never saw that. That's the thing. Yeah, because, you know, there's many uh, Muslims. They are not really true believers. Uh, chapter 9, verse number 20, and chapter 9, verse number 88. Yeah. Read with me, please. Can you read for us the verse? Could you say? Can I see the English version? Yeah, I'm showing the English version, not the, the not the Arabic. Not the Arabic. But that's not what you said, though. 
No, this one it says you see here the translate for you the word is driven. This is jihad in Arabic. It says read carefully with me Alladina amanu wa hajaru wa jahadu Fi sabirillahi bi amwalihim wa anfusahum by their money and their by blood They die for Allah. They have the greatest the greatest degree for Allah Huh <laughs> And the word jahadu is here in the front of your eyes. You see it? Here we go. This is the word jahadu, jihad. Yeah. But I thought jihad means to like struggle. No, a struggle, yes. The best of the jihad is to go in war. Struggle anything is struggle. You know, to build a house is a struggle. Yeah. If you are sick, you are struggling. If you have if you have a flu, you are struggling. But this is not the Quran saying. You know, the Quran is saying about those who go and leave their homes to join Allah Prophet in jihad. Why they leave? What was the purpose of hijrah? To do jihad. But I thought it is another ayah. It says those at, um when they when they come for you. I'm not sure what is it. It's like um if they fight you, you fight them back. It's something like that. My friend Muhammad, he, Muhammad is a is a war uh, lord, which means every stage have a have its own stage verses. So Muhammad, uh, in the beginning, he says the Christian, the Jews, they go to heaven. Then the okay. Christian, the Jews, they will go to hell. The same yeah. as the kuffar in the beginning he signed a peace agreement with them but in the okay. same chapter chapter 9 verse number one he washed his hands from the peace agreement because muhammad when he is weak he signed when he is strong he destroy so it's just a, po a politics it's a pure gaming he is not honest you know and this is why muhammad yeah. in different verse in the quran says sign you know fight not for peace when you are the uppermost Which mean Muslims when they are weak, they sign peace agreement. Like now, they sign peace agreement with the uh, with, with the Jews with Israel. But the Muslims are not allowed to do that. Why? Okay. Unless unless they uh, they are weak. Read carefully, chapter three, verse number one thirty nine, chapter forty seven, verse number thirty five. Both okay. of them saying the same. Cry not, faith not, hatred, crying for peace when you should be the uppermost. So when the Muslim they can seek peace, only if they are not the uppermost temporarily. The second they are the uppermost, they will attack you and they will take your land. Okay. Okay. So did I prove to you what I'm saying? No, uh, Muslims are like even in Saudi Arabia, you cannot practice your religion openly. But when they come to like the West, they have to practice their religion openly. So, what do you mean they don't practice their religion? Openly? Like, 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 I mean, in my country, not Saudi, uh, I mean, in Somalia, my bad. I mean, Somalia, right? In my country, you cannot practice um, Islam in no other religion but Islam. Yeah. But if they come to the West, they have to, it's unfair that they have to do their religion. But then the West, we have to let them do it there in their religion. Is that yeah, not you, unfair? You see, uh, okay, you give me an example about the West. When a Muslim he come to the West, he compromise because he is not the uppermost. Okay. Okay. But he is not allowed to compromise if he is the uppermost. Okay. That's the, this is because it's satanic. Okay. So there's there is two standard, double standard. It's hypocrisy. Yeah. Okay. So now you say to me how I can prove to you Jesus? I just did. Jesus does not allow hypocrisy. If he is not truthful, well, he should be not be truthful. You know, we should find a way of him being a lying to us because if simply if he is not what he claimed, he should be a liar. He should not teach then, us. Um, so I will ask you: Do people use Jesus' name in vain? You can use God's name in vain as you wish, but that I mean, to change people use Jesus' name in vain. I just asked you a simple thing, my friend. If if people do, people they can do whatever they. I'm want. not saying about religious. I say I'm saying do people use because like same thing. I just have one thing that's not making me become christian and that is like the slavery and people use jesus name in vain what's and slavery, slavery no, in slavery. the bible okay, it did, says okay, that you can be a slave could you did, tell me did jesus who, own slaves i never said jesus owned slaves okay. i said in the bible okay for me I, my best example is jesus not someone else and yeah. if we go back on time slavery okay. was was a normal thing at that time and okay. uh, 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 the bible says there's no free, there's no slave, there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew. For all of them, they are one by Christ. They are equal. So the Bible is so clear about that. But slavery. Could you tell me where in the Bible it says that? Because I don't. I just. I just want to see where it says that in the Bible. Okay. It, so now, if I, if, because I'm trying to understand. Uh, 
when you are asking about slavery, is that something yeah. you believe believe is going to stop you from being a Christian if there's a slavery? In, in the context, I'm it's, it, I'm especially in Exodus, he's it says that um, that um, the the slave you could like beat them or something. This is the law. This is the law. You see, the Jews they are living thousand of years ago. So yeah, uh, uh, when, when we you see, in order to be fair, we have yeah. to go back on time. We are talking about uh, 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 like we have a law in in uh, uh, in Texas. If you yeah. uh, uh, if you put your underwear with your wife underwear in the line outside in the garden, you should be taken to jail. This is not allowed. Now it sounds yeah. funny, right? It sounds even yeah. stupid. But in a yeah. certain time, people they believe in this, and it was their law. Okay. So, uh, what what you think it is not right now, it was right at that time. However, the Jews, the when they speak about slavery, a Hebrew person he can give himself as a slave. Let, let's yeah. say, uh, I you borrow from me money, and this yeah. money you are you know uh, you cannot pay me back. So what yeah. do you do? You come say to me and you say, I'm going to be your slave. The yeah. maximum of a slavery in this case is going to be seven years. Yeah. Seven years after that, you will be free, totally free. And then yeah. after that, uh, your, your, your debt is paid. So slavery, it was a way to pay your debt. You know, like, okay, I will work for you. Even my family, they will work for you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh when we understand slavery, we, yeah. we should try to understand it based in what it was, not the base of today. Not in today, but you could say the same thing because you tell Muslims that, okay, you, the, the example Muslims use are the one that says, oh yeah, slavery was about that time, but Muhammad, all he wanted to is was like, change it through our time. It's the exact same thing. I, I don't know what you mean. Because in when you oh, ask Muslims, okay, you right, mean, and okay, you tell you, them, okay, okay. "Oh so, yeah, slavery is wrong. Why Allah did not stop it?" and they tell you that slavery in that time was based on the economy and everything, and he did not want. No, to no, 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 no. This change. is not. No, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm saying, when you want to judge something, you yeah. go back on time. The same as I give you the example of uh, 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 the law of Texas. You have yeah. to go back on time to understand the mentality and how people live at that time. So the law in Texas and divine is different because the yeah, people doing that. No, but you, you see, you are mixing you are mixing between what is divine, what is the law of a man. God he gave so, God he gave commands to Moses, and those are the ten commands. And then Moses okay. is a leader, and he have a okay. nation to lead. And then he gave them commands, which is his commands, and those commands is what is best for them. But doesn't okay. mean doesn't mean that the Jews did not do uh, uh, wrong, the same as I do wrong today. Here we go. We yeah. are in the 2019, but yet slavery still is exist. Who said that slavery does not exist? But there's two. There's a there's a new form of a slavery. Today you are working for a big, big, a huge company. Yeah, remote modern day control, slavery. Remote controlled. Even your your mind, your mouth can be shut by a company. Right now, YouTube can shut me down. They okay. can. They can. They can. They can. This is a slavery. We okay. have. I have no choice but to use YouTube. Why? Because I'm not free. This is the only one I can use. The rest yeah. I cannot afford it. And if they can afford it, they will shut me down too. So there is many forms of slavery. But slavery yeah. always adopts itself to, to a new level. Today you want to live, you want to you want to work. Where do you work? There's a huge companies who own the world. The budget yeah. of Google is more than the budget of many countries altogether. Just okay. one company. That yeah. is a form of a slavery. They control the world, they control politics, they are the one who make presidents. They are the one who make, cause wars. They are the one who... So slavery is just a form. It's changed its skin, depend on the time. And for us, uh, uh, when we talk about slavery, we are trying always to judge with the mentality of today. Uh, okay. We should not do that. We should go back uh, and uh, compare between what people they used to live with and okay. what it is today. Now, yeah. when, I, when I go and see uh, 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 the Messiah talking, as I said to you, uh, you know them from their fruits, correct? correct. So, Muhammad, he owns slaves. Yeah. Jesus never owned slaves. Why? Who, Jesus? Yeah, why Jesus never owned slaves? Muhammad is false, man. You cannot, I know, but why you cannot, Jesus... Wait, I mean, Muhammad okay, is straight up as long as you are saying, hold on, I'm trying to go with you. 
as long as Jesus never owned slaves. Yeah. Why? I don't know because but there is I don't know. I don't time, know what to say on that. There's, uh, there's slaves. He can buy some slaves. Okay. Okay. He can buy some slaves. Why not? Why he did not? I don't know because okay. I don't know what he was thinking. I go back. No, it's not about what he's thinking. I go back. We says, you know them from their fruits. All right. So Jesus, a human being, they do things because simply they like to own each other. Okay. They like to own each other. So okay. because they like to own each other, they like to control each other. They do okay. things. But Jesus, he don't like to own you. Okay. I'm not going to lie. You got me on that one. That slavery one. Because in, in the context of you saying me, right, the Bible does not allow slavery. But it does it. In, it's too different. Like, but what about all the slavery that happened and then they, they use Christianity's name where, the like missionaries where, and everything like where, like where the you mean the European yeah okay well where in the European they can use uh, uh, the teaching of Jesus to uh, make it legitimate to to uh, to capture slaves they cannot this is the but what about a man in America friend, it says friend. that the, um, no. the uh, God gave the friend. land my friend to, you are mixing to, between to Christianity European. you are mixing between Christianity and what people do okay. that is have nothing to do with Jesus if I go now to Africa to go Somalia and says yeah. I am a white person I want to fight the black people yeah. that does not make me Christian that make me an yeah. apostate I am NOT even close to Christianity because in order to do that I have to support myself says okay God told me to do that so did Jesus yeah. says go to me and go and take a, 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 a take anyone as a slave he never did that so when you try to compare you have yeah. to be fair. You have to judge Christianity by the teaching of Christ, not by my action. I am not Christ. I can so be a sinner. Action can, of Christ, my friend. I can be a sinner. I can be a criminal. I can be a killer. Yet I call myself Christian Prince. Correct. So the question is: Did those yeah. people who practice slavery practice it because Jesus said to them? You know what I mean? Okay. If that is not the case, then you have nothing to do. You have nothing against Christianity. Okay, so that one, right? On the doubt of slavery, you took my doubt out of that. Okay, I accept that one, right? So my second question would be, in the context of Christianity, free will, right? Is it the same as Islam or is it different? What do you mean? In the free will of, of like, in Islam, Allah knows everything, correct? Same yeah. as you said that Moses, Allah decreed for him 40 years before he even knew that's happening. Adam, yeah, and correct. Yeah, no, we have a you know, for us, we believe in a free will. This is why, okay. this is why I showed you the verse where Jesus said, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. In order for but this, does the Lord know the outcome of the result? Does he know, does he know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do tomorrow? No, knowing the future does, does not mean that he is making you do the future. That because of his ability, not because of his uh, making the future. So still is going to be your will, your decision, your make. So it's kind of confused because he told me he's a, he he has the ability to see the future, right? If he has the ability to see the future, if I did not do the actions yet, so isn't it still like if I did not do the actions, how's he how's he ab able to guess it? That's, I'm just confused okay. on that one. Okay, what what is the word the prophet mean? Prophet, hmm. uh, someone who like prophesies, or oh, he's just I don't know, okay. or, like in one context, like so the Islam prophecy, way, or which way you want to know. Prophecy, uh, prof prophesying yeah? is about knowing the future. Okay. Okay, but knowing the future will not change the fact that it is you who is doing the future. It's not a destiny. So when I say to you that God He prophesy and uh, that's. Uh, uh, the the sun will lose its uh, its uh, uh, you know its right. Here, this is God doing. This is not my doing. This is because this is not about sin. It's about God. He would do that to the sun. So, but if I say to you that you know do this, otherwise you will go to hell. I am just telling you what, what is the best way to avoid hell. So you have a choice to do or not to do. And that's what right. Christianity is about. So God knowing the future will not change the fact. Maybe you are wondering how he knew the future. Because he's God, he's almighty. He have ability we don't have. That's why we, you know, when we say a miracle, God is a miracle. It's hard okay. to comprehend how he can do that because he have ability. I don't have it. But does not okay. mean that he made you do things in order 
to make him his uh, his uh, let us say his knowledge accomplish so okay. he know it because you are going to do it so we don't believe that he forced you to do things we believe that we have a choice and this is why you know uh, 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 the logic of being rewarded will not be logical if he forced me to do something like as an example right. if God made me give donation to a poor person yeah. and then I will be saved let us say this religion teach whatever religion uh, uh, if I do give donation to a poor person uh, he mm -hmm. will take me to heaven but if he is the one who made me it's mean I don't deserve to go to heaven it's mean it's, he, it's him who made me do it right yeah so the logic of reward is you do the right thing by your choice and the logic of punishment is you doing the wrong thing by your choice otherwise I should not be rewarded neither be punished because none of those was my choice right yeah okay so Christianity does not teach that this is why when I showed you Jesus saying not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will that because simply you have the free will to choose or not to choose otherwise Jesus he says you like it you don't like it you have you know that's it he said okay say shahada no he didn't say he's here he says to those who say shahada you witness for me by your mouth but you are not truthful so you can say I believe but you are false so here is you doing the will of the father and here the will of the father is a destiny but in different way as an example God he is tonight for us <laughs> if you are believing you go to heaven this is a destiny but you are the one still you have to believe if you don't believe you will go to hell that is a destiny which means we cannot change it but still it is you who decide where to go so let's say I put you in the highway and I say in this highway there is exits one to hell one to heaven two, take one but that will not change the fact that there's a highway and this is the only highway in front of us I have to exit that is a destiny this is the only destiny we believe in it in Islam no Allah he chose for you the exit Allah he chose to what you would do Allah chose how it at work and we don't believe in such a garbage oh man I just don't know what to say man it's just it's a lot to take in man it's just a lot but it's up to you you know for me uh, uh, I, I did my my part I invited you to believe in the Messiah take your time read the go four Gospels and uh, you know um, and see for yourself and uh, when you feel that you really are ready to accept in the Messiah I and uh, I you know I encourage you not to hesitate for a second but don't accept him if you don't want because that will not help you if you are a hypocrite but I don't want to go to hell man this is your choice I'm saying see, you see it's not uh, uh, I don't want you to accept the Messiah because you are scared of hell. I want you to accept the Messiah because you are convinced and you became a believer. If you read, man, you read, man, like of the deen, there's no compulsory religion, man. No, in Islam, this is a false uh, statement, by the way. No, I mean, in your context, there's, you're, not, you're not forcing me now. So no. I like that, man. No, no, I'm not forcing you, and nobody forced you. Even the Messiah will not force you. It is a choice you choose, it's a decision. This is why there's a reward and there's a penalty. Because we make a choice you see like the Messiah is the same as a firefighter he come to your house he says there's a fire and this yeah. fire is going to burn your house follow me otherwise you will be burned then you say to him I don't want I don't believe you look okay, your choice don't believe me I did my part so it's up to you to believe or not to believe everybody is responsible for his decision God he gave you a gift it's called the brain use it if your brain make you believe that you should be an atheist okay be an atheist it's your decision. No, I'm not saying being atheist I don't want to be atheist no no but I'm not saying you are not. I'm saying whatever your whatever your decision is going yeah. to be you are the one is responsible for it okay okay you see okay you 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 see it's like how do I say this it's really you guys like put doubts in us and take us out of Islam but what's next man that's the point the next what for should me, you do the, what's the next, next that's the, the point the next it's, for me it's has, easy leaving Islam it was easier leaving Islam but doing what next is okay, harder so than so, anything and it's really, sound, and you should understand that okay it sounds like you're blaming me for making you leave Islam I did not no, I'm not I'm not blaming <laughs> you I'm not blaming right. you Islam itself 
if I just had to be blind and follow, I would be happy. I would be happy. Yeah. I was happier Perfect. when I was a Muslim. I did not know when I was a blind follower, I was just happier. Okay. I, I say to you and I confirm to you, uh, there's no better name in this earth or in heaven to follow better than Christ. There's nobody, no one. And from their fruits, you shall know them. The fruits, it should be your guide to follow or not to follow. And the fruit of the Messiah is beyond imagination, beyond even wisdom, beyond uh, 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 dignity. It is extremely high. There's no way that this is a teaching of a human being like us. So for me, I am not, uh, I don't have a doubt for a second in my belief as a Christian. You should make a decision based in what you think is right for you. I am I'm sorry about surprised. that. I did not meant to blame you for leaving Islam. That came out wrong. No problem. It's not me to say that. Thanks. You're doing a great work, man, for like for teaching us the wrong with it. But I just that just came out wrong. Sorry about that. It's but right. there's no there's no what's next. You don't have like programs on what's next. No, this is why we're saying what next is is you is you. Next is you. You are now. You are free, my friend. You are free. So uh, Islam is like a slavery. It's a form of a slavery. Yeah. And even the Muslim believe they are a slave of Allah. For yeah, us, Abdurrahman, Abdi. Yeah, so you know, even when they ask Jesus how to pray, he says, Say this, our Father art of heaven. He is our Father. So God is your Father and He wants you to be saved. And the Father is inviting you to His house. So it's your decision to believe or not to believe, to accept or to reject. I can do nothing more, I can do nothing less, because as I said, it's a personal invitation. God he use us willingly he don't use me forcing me he use me willingly which means I choose to invite you to save you and to accept Christ and you if you accept that is something you do willingly and this is why there's a reward for that Amen. Um, I don't want to waste your time. There's like some Abdul's here that wants to debate with you because I already left the cult. So my email is I'm just gonna say my email loud out so anyone that wants to email me and have no, no, a like no, 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 a one-on-one no, 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 conversation. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't give your email, at least not in my in life on air, because they okay. might try to hack you. You know, don't do that to yourself. Be careful. Okay. All right. So I want someone like I don't want I you I totally understand that. I just wanted some Christian person to like <laughs> Help me. That's it. All right. Give me your email and text, and I will send you to someone. I appreciate, it, man. Just keep up. And just one thing, man. The Aisha thing, man. Um, the Aisha. Uh, like I talk to a lot of Muslims, my my small community. The Aisha thing, and that's one of the reasons I left Islam. They tell me that back in the day, women mature faster. Uh, well, you know, uh, this is very funny because uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. It is Saudi Arabia, and it's still six years old. Girl is a six. You, you know, you do not need. <laughs> You can go watch any video on YouTube for children in Saudi Arabia, and you will see the kids are still kids. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm gonna text you, Ava. Have a nice day, man. Appreciate Thank it. You. You're welcome. Okay, we have we have a truth. He's calling. How are you, truth? Somebody is saying to me. Yes, truth. Assalamu alaikum, bro. Everyone, uh, quick uh, thing to say, and uh, not too specifically to no. I don't believe he's a Muslim. Mean. He can't even he can't even uh, say the five pillars of Islam. I know this guy. He's not a Muslim. He's not an ex-Muslim. Hmm. He cannot say what? He, he can't even say the five pillars of Islam. I dare this guy to talk to me. Okay, let me ask oh, you. Sky? Okay, hold on. I can prove to you that you aren't a Muslim too. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Who carry Allah? Allah carries himself. That's not what the Quran is saying. I just to prove that you are not a Muslim. He got a throne. He got a throne, of course. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean that he is. Uh, he needs a throne. He can just carry himself you anywhere he wants. You don't even know who carry Allah, so you are not a Muslim too. So you are saying that this guy cannot be a Muslim because he doesn't know what? Now you don't know. Here we go. The Quran says, chapter 69, verse number 17, that Allah, he is carried by eight, and he is at the top of them. So why are you? Sorry, uh, which, uh, wait, is it on the screen right now? Should I open the screen? Yeah, it's in the screen. All right, let's see. 
I don't know who that guy was, man. He wasn't Somali, man. I don't. No, My he wasn't probably he is a Somali. He is a Somali. He's, he's like, it's not up to you. He's and, a and, and you know, yeah, always, yeah, always, yeah. you Muslims, That's you have a problem. You have a yeah. mental problem. You Muslims, when you speak about others, because always you assume that they are liars because you Muslims love to lie. So you think everybody says anything, he's a liar too. No, of course, but the you thing you couldn't me, bring you a, you just there. Okay, I, talking you, 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 you lied to me. You, okay, hold and on. Every, I, mean, I just Islam. ask you a question about Islam. 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 You I just ask you about Islam. You do not know how many things I say to you about Islam. You do not know yet. You claim that if somebody do not know something about Islam, he do not. He's not a Muslim. But you yourself are the last one to know anything. I mean, you are you yourself are the last one to know anything. Until now, I never spoke to you about anything, and you know it. Each time we speak to you, each time I speak to you, you say to me at the end, I don't know what to say, man. I have to look it up. I don't know what to say, man. I have to look it up. So now he is not a Muslim because he, you know, according to you, he did not know something. You know nothing. You are zero. Actually, you are minus zero. I see the ice in your nose. Yeah, come on, man. What come on? What come on? Okay, you call me now to do what? Just to attack the guy? This is what you are doing? You know, I, I want, want to. Uh, I want you, with the I, I want you to, to be a hero. I, I want you to. I wanted you to be a hero and answer anything I gave you. So suddenly you became a lion. Fifteen minutes ago you were a cat. Now you became a lion. Why? What happened? Did you eat some uh, extra food? Did you drink camel urine? By the way, why your prophet ordered to drink camel urine? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, way. Oh, no, 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 in the hadith, it's not logical to drink camel urine because that's not, and the hadith is probably fake in it. It's ah, it's fake. It was Pepsi Cola, but the pro, the the, the kuffar they make it. <laughs> hadith is written by Muslims, reported by Muslims, translated by Muslims, published by Muslims, and now it's fake. Muslim, 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 you have Muslims who are killing other Muslims because, they are Muslim. because the Quran. Killing, killing innocents, okay. Uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Because the Quran allow that. Don't tell me you never heard of this. Hello. Look. look no, don't tell me. Look. You, have to, uh, you are saying to me. Hold brother. on. Don't tell me. Look. Don't look. Look. Don't look me. Did the Quran allow Muslims to kill Muslims? Yes or no? No. What if I show you that? You will show me uh, something different that doesn't actually say that. I will not show you something different. I will show you that the Quran says. That. I will show you that the Quran says kill Muslims. Challenge between me and you, yes or no? Hey, but I just called just to uh, talk uh -huh, Here man. we go. I just I called. Know. Okay, I just called. Okay, nice to meet you. I just called. a second ago you said to me there's no way it says that. Now you want to you want to you want to change the topic. Let us talk about uh, shish kebab. Does the Quran says? Muslims can kill Muslims. Either you say yes or you say no. No, no, no. Okay, let us read the Quran together. Here we go. No, no, no. I heard you. That's good. Hmm. So what is this? What is this verse in front of us? Chapter 49, verse number 9. It's Arabic. It's in English. Right. Hmm. I say Arabic. Oh my gosh. Don't say oh my gosh, say oh my Allah. Hello? Hmm. All right, it says make peace between them. Hmm. It says make peace between them and? And if one part of them do for wrong hmm. to the other, hmm. see that which do for wrong, Till it return unto the ordinance of Allah, then if it return, make peace between them justly. That's and it. Act, act so the one, agree. the Muslim group who do wrong, we can go and fight them and kill them according to the Quran. And till, then every till, uh, hold on. Verse and now, says like and, a thousand, almost a thousand times. What peace between them? Does this first? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like, but if, this, if, one, this, 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 if one of them do them wrong, them. if one of them do wrong, what is the solution? Kill them. No, 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 because he's doing wrong and that is not according to Islam. Now he isn't following Islam. My friend, here we go. A second ago, you say to me, it says two party of the believers. They are two what? They are two parties of the believers. Yes. They are yes. not the believers and kuffar. 
So stop playing games. They are both believers. Quran name them as believers, not as one is a believer, the other one is not. So if one of them, if two two parties they fight together, okay, try to fix things between them. But if the other one, one of them, which doesn't matter which one, did wrong, go and fight them and kill them. So Islam allow you to kill. A believer, and this is what all Muslims do. No, they because they have believers again. Don't, they, they, I mean, don't, no, no, no. don't, don't, because just go. This is why ISIS they want to kill Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda they want to kill ISIS. ISIS they want to kill Sunni. Sunni they want to kill Sunni. Shia they want to because all of them they use this verse. Everyone claim that I am the right, who oh, is the wrong, and the Quran says you can kill them. And this is what many donkeys don't want to understand. As an example, there's a donkey, his name is James White. He says, how Islam, you know, those ISIS are not Muslims because they are killing Muslims. Because he's a certified donkey. They know nothing about Islam, and yet they want to teach us about Islam. And there's many naive Christians, they listen to them. Knowing a religion is not about knowing a verse. You have always to listen to somebody, he have knowledge. You notice whatever we speak about, we move in a second when we grab the verse and we put it in front of your eyes because we have knowledge. Stop listening to donkeys. Hello? Hello? Yes. Aki, I just wanted to prove that guy wrong because he came in here and he's like, um, this guy is not Somali and that and that. Hmm. My name is Shamaki. I just wanted to say that. that Can you speak Somali? Can sense. you speak Somalian? Yeah, I, mean, I just want to speak Somali. Okay. I just wanted to prove him wrong. And okay. anyone else here okay, thank leaving. You. Yeah? Okay, you got him busted. You speak Somalian. So you are not Somali, yeah, but you Somali. speak Somalian. I think it's a miracle. <laughs> no, it's, these people are just Somali people are not educated in Somali. That's the problem. Once they come to the West, and once they see education and stuff, when they can think for themselves, and okay, then they look, I have a lot of Somali friends. You know what? This, and when guy, I tell them this, about guy, that, huh? this guy, he claimed to be Somalian. What about we invite him to a conversation with you and let us see if yeah. he himself speaks Somalian? Okay, no problem. I'm, I'm me, willing to wait okay, for that. Let me let me uh, add him in the conversation. And well, he can uh, test my deen too if he's saying I'm not a Muslim. No, no, I swear, I'm this guy. Here we go. Oh. I will add him to the conversation. Let us see if he is a brave. I don't know the five pillars of Islam. Bro, what is he? he uh, who carries Allah's throne? He can't even ask simple like what? We are inviting like, him now to the conversation. He was excited and he want to get you busted. No, he can What's the point of lying about race? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, Hello? 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 You said he, you, me? you said he is not yeah. Somalian, right? You said hey, he is hey, not hey. Somalian. Speak to me. Oh, oh, did you add him? Did you add him? Did you add him? Yes, yeah. he is there. Is yeah. You said he don't speak yeah. Somalian. Hey, 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 you come here? Yeah, you trying to you trying to uh, insult Islam and shit, man. Uh, whenever you talk, you don't even talk about Islam, and then you go. No, you no, no he's not Somalian. Don't change. You're not ex-Muslim. Stop lying, man. I'm not ex-Muslim. I'm not ex-Muslim. Ninety-eight percent of Somalia. You're not ex-Muslim. You don't know about Islam, man. Let's get lost. <laughs> okay my friend uh, we don't want to have a fight uh, a stupid fight here but you see uh, uh, he got you busted you are the one who claimed to be Somalian but yet you do not know how to speak Somalian and the one you accuse him not to be Somalian he speaks Somalian so who is the liar I mean have you ever heard of a guy saying I am Somalian but you don't speak Somalian why you are speaking to him in English I want you to I want to hear you speaking to him so to Som in Somalian language but you don't know Somalian that's why you cannot speak to him in Somalian So you are saying he is no Somalian. The guy spoke Somalian. So how he is not Somalian? He spoke Somalian. Have you ever heard of somebody from militia? He speak he speaks Somalian. Have you ever heard of somebody from from Algeria but he speaks Somalian? He is a Somalian, and Somalia is one hundred percent Muslim country. Stupid. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, do we have any Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. Yeah, there is a Muslim. He said. He said in the chat, "How you explain, explain to me a verse in the Bible where it says that God He created evil? Sure, God He created evil because He created the devil, but He did not create the devil to be a devil. He created him to be an angel in Christianity. 
and that here is giving us a clear example of the free will because God created Satan as an angel yet an angel even though he is an angel still he is a free to be a devil so you got yourself busted Abdul again <clears throat> Christians, is it true that God He created an angel who chose to be Satan? Or He created Satan who chose to be some, you know, who, who have no choice? No, God created an angel. So for us, and by the way, Muslims do not believe in that. Muslims don't believe that uh, Satan was an angel. They don't believe in that. So uh, this is additional proof of your freedom. Even though you are created by the Almighty God, even an angel who supposedly is a servant, a direct servant of God, yet he was free to do as he wished. Even that. So again, Christianity proving itself, Islam is a failure. Satan, he was from the jinn, not an angel, yes. And this is funny because there's nothing. And there's many Christians, by the way, they mix between genie and demon. Many naive Christians, they think that genie is a demon. Demon is not a genie. Demon is a, is a spirit. Genie is a physical creature. Even Muslims believe that they can have sex with a genie. <clears throat> We don't want to talk about Calvinism and those stuff. This is not my topic, so don't change my topic. Don't change my topic. Any Muslim? Leave to what to God to God, what to Caesar to Caesar. How God he will punish us for our sin, that is his business. My opinion will not change anything. So people they can talk, make speeches, make article, hey, have fun. At the end of the day, the one who will do what need to be done is your Lord, your creator. He will punish you as he will, not as you choose. <laughs> He will reward you as you will, not as you choose. So there are some people they are they, they seek argument, not a truth. Why you want to discuss something is in the hand of God and there's no point of it. How God will punish me. He would do this and he would do that. This is just a person is trying to kill time. This is silly. Because at the end of the day, it's not what you think, not what I think, it's what God will do. Do we have any Muslim? We have 1,119 people listening, but only 749 like. And we have a 26 Muslim dislike, which is making me upset. You Muslim, what's wrong with you? I mean, it's a duty of Allah to fight for the sake of Allah and give me dislike. I mean, come on, after all what I did today, you give me only 26 dislike, I feel, I feel really humiliated. This is not even fair. I mean, come on. Any Muslim? Who is next? Any Muslim, he feel that he have a courage and a knowledge. Yeah, thank you, Muhammad. I know that. Thank you for teaching me. Any uh, Muslims? Anyone? Uh, by the way, those who they are in uh, 
uh, in the face uh, in, the, in the Skype group, uh, uh, the, the Somalian, the two Somalian guys. You can leave the group, and don't uh, you know? I don't want to involve in a chat between you, All right? You can click at that group, click in your right side of your mouse, and you can leave the group. Now we have a Muslim. I think he tried to call me. Let us see. Okay. Well, he is not answering. Uh, guys, should we continue or enough for today? What do you think? Did we have enough for today? I mean, do we do we need to make the Muslims leave all of them in one day? I mean, come on. Whoever watched this video, he will leave this cult. This is the most silly, stupid cult ever you can witness for. Continue. Okay, you need to give me uh, five minutes. Let me let me put a video to play for you from a previous debate for just five minutes because I need to go somewhere. I cannot tell you exactly where, but it's not far from the North Pole. All right? It's not really far. It's just, I mean, it's almost there in the North Pole. All right? Uh, let us see. Hold on. <clears throat> Uh. on here the beach he came back and he opened the door I'm trying to find All right, that will do. <clears throat> and uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean, I think that will be you and your a fraud. Sin in heaven, huh? This is Nothing about is sin. this is a video about uh, 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 the heaven of Allah, <clears throat> the heaven of Allah. So we will play it for you for a few minutes, and then we'll be back right after. Can you hear me? Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? You said you, you, slandering you, the you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can have, you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, 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 I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin, I'm not smart like listen. you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and I, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and I to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Nike mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Nike in one bed. But it, it wouldn't be my it would be wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven, think of it as anything can happen. 
Or anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nick having sex with your sister at the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nick and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean, I think that will be hurting real badly. Do you think Allah will ease your anus pain? No, uh, listen, it, that person, whoever wants to do it, mm -hmm. he would uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space. The time and space, no problem, but he needs his penis too. So you are a man now, and the man he want to do sex to you, and now, you know, because you are a man, unless you are used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you? When he when a when Abdul he do I would not I would not be the one that he does it to Abid. Why? Uh, you you like to do it to men. You don't like men to no, do no, it. No 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time and space. Oh, so your anus would be bigger in the head. Okay, I got that. No so, no no no. So what no, do you mean? I am different me. You are saying different me. I don't know. A me in a different time and space. I, I understand different time and space. I get that, you know. I, what, okay, explain to us different time and space. What does that mean? Let us see uh, what, what I try okay. to say. For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah, yeah yes. okay. So if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh, yes, my answer is yes. I just explained to you. Look like you are waiting for it, like because you said, like, yeah, yes, like, wow, man, look like you are dying yes, for that. Because day. you go in a loop because you repeated the same thing. I said yes already. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, my friend, after you spend all your day having sex with men and women and your mother and your sister, as you said. Do you think, don't you think this is like really weird? I mean, what is, what kind of heaven this heaven is? It is weird because due to our moral and uh, human minds, yes. Mm. But once you, once you go to heaven, you are free from that. Mm. So you are, in the heaven of Islam, let us make it clear for the audience, me and you, in the heaven of Islam, you will be free from your moral, correct? Yes. Which means you will, you will have no morality. Sir, sir, what? You said that in the earth we have moral, in heaven we don't have moral, correct? It's a social social, social structure, yes. Yeah, so in the heaven of Allah we have no moral, we can do whatever we wish. So if my, my, my neighbor, he have a wife, I can jump over his window and I can do being bong with the wife, right? Your desires will happen, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And what what will make that of you? I mean, uh, that will make you really happy? You think this will be a very happy time for you? Any any of my desires will have be able to happen. Yes. Hmm. If that okay. someone is happy, then they'll be happier. I, okay, no, my friend. I don't know. The the one before you, we asked him about having sex with your daughter. He said there's no problem. Yeah. Is that the same for you? You don't have a problem having sex with your daughter. In heaven? Yeah. I don't care. It's heaven. I'm already dead. Okay. No, no, in heaven you are not dead. You are alive there. You have a real penis. No, I'm in death from this world. Oh, okay, so in the heaven of Allah, you have no problem. Uh, somebody actually is asking me, what if somebody, uh, 500 men, they want to have sex with you? <laughs> Let us say, I assume you are very handsome, you know, you are handsome very much, and there's 500 men, they want to have sex with you. So what we would do now? You are, It's okay for you? They would love... Um, mm. Sounds like it's they, very something you like very much. Okay, well, no, you know, no, it's due in the time and space that each man will be able to imagine whatever they want, and it will happen. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. This is a very interesting religion, by the way. I don't understand what your problem with that is. Uh, for uh, I, I, I'm sure you don't understand because you are coming from different uh, world, my friend. You don't have a problem with anything having sex with your mother, 
with your sister, with your daughter, with the goat, with the donkey, men with men. I mean, this is the hippie religion. Okay, do you think have... that having uh, many wives is wrong? In earth? Yeah, any, any, yes. Yeah, 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 the Bible says don't multiply your wives. How many wives did Solomon have? It's not God who taught him to do that. Solomon, he, you know, and David, they, they, they asked God for repentance. They pray for God saying, please, God, forgive us. About having multiple wives, what about Moses? About all, Moses all, also. All, about, all about the sin. So you, uh, uh, things happen in. Uh, oh, so each prophet okay. Uh, okay, had multiple okay, wives. Okay, my friend, my friend. Even Abraham, Abraham, the father of those names, he had two wives, correct? Yes. But it's not God who told him to do that. So, and there's a certain time where people. So you they, can't hold, eat unless hold, God tells you to eat. You can't on. walk until no, 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 unless no, God tells no, you no, to no, walk. No, no, no. There's a certain time where even in the in the in the beginning of Adam and Eve, a brother he have sex with his sister. Is that correct? Sorry, sir. The children of Adam and Eve, they had mm -hmm. sex with their sisters. Is that correct? In order to procreate, yes. Right. Okay. So because at that time it was a special, so it was okay. But after that, then a law came says you cannot do that. So to a certain point, it was okay. So they did not receive an order from God yet to say no, you cannot do that. Now you as Muslims, after you go to heaven. You only see, mixed it. You, see, you mixed it. I, no, said, I did not mix it. I did not mix it. You see, no, for I me said, as a you Christian, have sex with, my friend, uh, my friend. All right, guys, we gave you a break with this uh, wise man, wise Muslim man. He was answering me, and we are back. Uh, uh, I don't know how many of you here are new first time, but I advise you uh, to leave because if you stay more than five minutes, you will become addicted, and that is not good. We are here trying to find fight addiction. So if you are first time, before you pass the five minute, you better leave immediately because then you will become addicted to our channel and that is not good. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? I'm just telling you an advice. I don't know, it's up to you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This is what happened. This is what happened all the time. Okay. So do we have any Muslim would like to call us? My Skype is open. And any Muslim would like to call us, he's more than welcome. This is a Muslim. All right, let us see this guy. Oh, this is not. This is the same guy who texted me. The ex-Muslim. <laughs> Hello, Akhi, um, I just want to tell you, I talked to that dude that called me um, fake Muslim, fake everything. When I talked to him about the deen and everything, he, he ran away. He ran away, just like how they're doing here. They just don't want to talk, man. It's all right, my friend. Just to block him in your in Skype so he will not bother you anymore. Okay, man. All right, take care. Uh, let us see this Muhammadan. Any Muslim would like to call us. So the conclusion of what we learned until now from what Muslims they claim that Quran is full of miracles, it is that Quran is full of false fiction stories. And we prove it every day to be false. And we here, we challenge them to prove any of what they claim and none of them come to be true. None of them come to be true. Can someone introduce CP to Kahabib? Who is this Kahabib? Who is a Muslim when I call me? Anyone? How are you, Keith? What is that CP is your God? What does that mean? 
are you trying to say something you know sometimes you look at the, uh, at the at the comments in the chat you find it that there's some people they are not even growing up they are like I don't know what the what the age of people there you never know maybe there's somebody is seven years old you know these days everybody have a uh, access to a computer Ibrahim he wants to call me okay what is your what is your Skype Ibrahim anyone yes hello hello are you there Uh, 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 Muhammad, before you call me, you have to say, Inshallah. There's a guy. He's a Muslim prophet. He had sex with 99 women, because he forgot to say, Inshallah, before having sex with all of them in one night, Allah gave him half child. We don't want to happen to you. I don't want that to happen to you. You have to say, Inshallah, before sex. Hmm? Any Muslim? Anyone? Ellen, Ellen is wondering why people are afraid to defend themselves because they cannot defend their faith. Yes, it's my voice. Hello, okay, 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 my brother. Now, don't, don't tell me about the guy, the other guy. We are done with this. We're not kids. So, what do you want to say? All right, yeah, okay. So, you want give me a miracle of the Quran until now? We did not find one yes. miracle, man. What's wrong with those Muslims? I will, I will, I will. So, there's millions of miracles in the in YouTube, but we cannot find one truthful miracle. I'm really upset yeah. now. All right, all right, I will, I will. I will. You know what? So, if you don't so, give me a miracle, so, I, I, I swear, I swear, I swear. By the I'll, olive, by the way, do you swear by olive, by olive before? Say again? Did you ever swear by olive before? Olives? Yeah. I don't. I don't like olives. To be honest with you. So, but you don't swear by olive? No. Why not? Why should I? Why should I? I swear I by know. Allah. That's the I, thing I, saw, I, swear I saw. To. I saw. I Muslim. They don't swear by Allah. They swear by olive, and they swear by fig. Well, I don't care what they're doing. That's so wrong. Do you think? Do you think swearing by fig and olive is wrong? Depends, depends. If the uh, worshippers are doing that, that's wrong. But we don't have authority to do okay, that. But I, know, but I know, I know. Don't, don't tell me. I'm asking you. Do you think it's wrong to swear by olive or fig? Yeah, for humans. It's wrong for, for human. Humans. For human. So God, He can swear by fig. He can swear by whatever He wants. So why God? He swear by fig. Is is, is the fig is your God? God. No, it's just something. So he, why is he he can do Okay, no problem. I swear by God, for God is my creator. Allah swear by fake for what reason? No, if he, if he swears by fake, yeah, he feels like he wants to swear by fake because maybe, he can do whatever maybe he, he wants. Was maybe he was angry. What do you mean he feel like swearing by fake? Why? Uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, was hungry. He yeah, but I am, I'm asking, and he because he have a flesh of a human, because he have a flesh of a human being. So how Jesus he cursed the the tree, and Allah he swear by the fig tree, by the fig itself, not a tree actually. It says that Jesus was hungry, but Allah is not never hungry. So why Allah, not, Allah? Why Allah he swear by fig? He can swear by whatever he wants. I get it. Why? Why when because somebody when somebody swear by something, it's be, it have to be greater than him. You swear by God, no. so he's greater than you. Yeah. That's not true. That's not true. Okay, so why Allah swear by fig and uh, olive? If you swear by something, that doesn't mean... Uh, so that why he swear... Great, okay, so it. if Allah swear by fig, you say it's okay. But I ask you, is it okay for a human to swear by fig? You said no. So why a human yeah. cannot swear by fig, but Allah, he swear by fig? You tell me. Huh? You are the Muslim, not me. Hello. 
are we going to change the position now? So you are Zakir Naik now, and I am the Muslim believer. No, I am Zakir Naik, and you are the Muslim. Brother uh -huh. they read the bird in the Quran, and it think that Allah is very perfect, and they did the reason for that. According to science, think it's the more youthful fruit, <laughs> and it is the problem by science. As an example, there is a scientist, he is from Fidi land. Fidi land, it used to be fig land, not Fidi. Fidi is the wrong name. The correct name is fig land. And it is proven by science, and even the scientist from Japan, he proved that fig is very useful. And even <laughs> NASA is using it as a fuel for the spaceship. So you eat fig, you go to the space. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll give you the answer of, <laughs> of Zach and I. What is your answer? I, I'm clapping for that, man. I'm clapping for that. I don't know how he did You give that. me an answer. What kind of God? He swear by fig, man. I swear by watermelon. What, what, what about you? What, what, what fig? God, he swear by fig? I mean, it's a fig. Yeah, but why, why, why does it say that God can't swear by a fig? If God cannot swear by a fig, that means God is limited. Ah, uh -huh. so I, I, I can Allah swear by cockroaches too? So again? If Allah is 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 he swear by a cockroach, is that okay? Of course, if he wants to, ah, but it's not good for us. I swear by Mrs. Mosquito. I swear. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with your God? Of course, of course, of course. So, so why, of course, Allah He can, but you cannot. Why you cannot swear by fig? Allah He can. Why? If a fig, you know, when you swear by something, it must be holy. So is that the holy fig, you know, for Allah? No, because if I swear by something, that means I, I'm I'm participating in that thing. That's not good. Like it's mean you are swearing by something great, great, right? You swear by great stuff, not silly stuff. You swear to make people believe you. So if you swear that you did not do this crime, you swear by God. Allah swearing by fake to do what? And by the my amount of Sinai, mm. and if you scroll down, I can read. And okay, and so, but well, that will not change anything. Scroll down as much as you would. And so, and what the amount of Sinai have to do the city of security? Where is that city of security? And where is the amount of where? By the way, where it says the amount of Sinai? It says what Tauru Sinin. There's no Sinai here. There's nothing in Arabic. It's called uh, uh, Sinin. What is that? And why Allah using the word Tur? Tur is not an Arabic word. But yet in the Quran, he says that this is a pure Arabic Quran. Anyway, you know what? This is this is uh, above your grade. Let us go yeah, to something you, uh, fit with your grade. Can you give me, you said you have a scientific miracle. Did you find one? Yes. Hmm, which one? So, 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 um, the Quran, it talks about that the moon, um, has no light that's actually that's his reflection and the Bible says that's the old moon light that means Islam is correct and the Bible is not are you sure you want to talk about this uh, one? Not, are you yeah, sure you yeah, want to talk yeah. about this one you will regret that, it's yeah, yeah, yeah I will yeah. give I will count I will count to 10 either you regret you say I'm sorry I don't want to talk about it or I will make everybody laugh at this miracle so what do you do if I if I say uh, I want to talk about it, can I then leave the Quran? Then you talk okay, about it. Okay, hold on. Listen. So you said the Quran says the Quran has uh, 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 called the light of the moon Nur, correct? Yes. Okay. And Nur means reflection, correct? Yes, the reflection of the sun. All right, guys. It is a reflection. The word Nur means reflection. So Allah is a reflection, because the Quran says <coughs> that Allah is Nur. All the verses in the front of us says that Allah is Nur. Read with me. Chapter 5, verse 15. Chapter 9, verse 32. Chapter 40, 24, verse number 35. Chapter 24, verse 10, 14. Sorry, 40. Chapter 39, verse number 22. Chapter 61, verse number 8. All of them, they say that Allah is Nur. And you are the one who said, everybody heard you. That the word nur mere reflection. Allah getting his nur from where? It's 24 35. Hmm. Allah nur samawati wal ard. Do you see the word nur? Yes. I told May you, you I told you I will count to ten. You Change your mind. You said no. 
Okay, here we go. This is the word Nur. Allahu Nur is Samawati Wal Ard. And everybody heard you saying that the word Nur is reflection. Is Allah the moon? He's getting his reflection from somewhere. Maybe Allah is the moon. That's why you Muslims have the moon God sign. The, the moon in you know in the top of your mosque. Remember, you are the one who says that the word nur attached to the word qamar and it's mean reflection light. And the Quran says that Allah is nur. So he is a reflection light, so he's fake, is not true. It's an illusion. Well, can you bring the English translation of this verse? Sure, sure, you sure, sure. What what English what English translation you like? We have all many English translation. Which one you like? This is this is uh, okay. Hold on. This is English translation of who? Uh, man, hold on. My page is jumping up. What happened to this uh, page? Okay. It's probably a demon, huh? A okay. demon with the home. No, Solomon no, it's one of the fig. It's one of the fig. You know, it's uh, my my. Uh, I ate fig, and it's all over my keyboard. I swear in by fig, and look. Allah is the nur of the heaven and the earth. Hmm, here we go. This is the word light. It's the word nur. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. Hmm. But the word in Arabic is nur. The same word is used for the qamar. So what we will do now? What does it say? Well, I'm sorry, can you please, please, please just ask you once again, please go to the English translation of that verse which you read before with the new and the moon. What? About what? Yeah. No, to the verse with the moon where it says no. Okay, hold on. Let me find it here in the Muslim website so we can love better. Hold on. Yes. Uh, Are you making a mistake right now, brother? I am making a this, mistake. Okay, this, let's see. this is going to be the future, brother. All right. Let us see where is the. Uh, moon, do you see what it says? The word moon, 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 moon. age of universe. Look how many miracles, mashallah. Them, mashallah, all of them they are scam. <laughs> is that, no, is no, that no, you no, with no. the diaper? Is that I know you? This one. Is that you? Is that you? Is that you with the diaper? The best way, I know most of them. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Moonlight, here we go. We found the article. Thank you. Are you really careful? Wait, this, wait, is, wait. this is the article where you learn from it. The moon does not radiate, okay? It says, chapter 10, verse number 5. It is he who had, uh, who made the sun radiate, uh, radiant and the moon a light. And this is the verse. Al-Qamaru, wal-Qamaru nuran. You see it? This is the same exact word. Allah, he described himself that he is nur. You see it? Nuran. Nur. Okay, so what we will do now? You Muslims, you claim, that Allah he said that the Sun has its original light and he because he called it Diya and you claim that the word Noor is not radiation by itself its reflection and this is why you say is the word Noor translated as light but that means Allah himself is radiation so what we will do now with the stupidity of the of those who make those miracles I'm just going with your article. I'm just going with your logic. You are the one who said the word Noor mean reflection. Okay. I'll uh, go with that. Okay. 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 So Allah does Allah is reflection. Allah is not true. Because Allah is a Noor. And as long as he is Noor and Noor is reflection, that's mean Allah is reflection of something. Is that's fake? It's a it's like a it's like a shadow. It's fake. Reflection. So you just approved to me that Allah is fake. What we will do now? Allah is fake? Because it's reflection. You are the one who said to me. Did you, oh, fake. Did you forget what you said? You said to me that the word Noor, and you are the one who said the word Noor. I heard you saying Noor. So Noor is a reflection. That's what you said. The moon have a Noor. noor. That means it's a reflection. Okay. So Allah is Noor. So what we will do now? Allah is reflection. Allah is a reflection and as long as a reflection that's mean he does not exist It's just a fake lighting reflection from something Okay, 
Brother, brother, I got. Uh, what you got to go and eat now? I'm not running away. I'm not running. Away. I got the last scientific miracle. Oh. I swear, I I just want this one to be. Which one? You, you, so you just gave me one. You just gave me one, and we, 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 each time you give right. me one, we make shish kebab of it. So what we would do now? No man, not it doesn't even take me. It did not even take me a second. Listen, it did brother. not even take me a second to get you busted. So what we would do now? Okay, if you if you are going to leave, swear by the fig, you will come back. I swear by Allah. Why you don't swear by fig? Allah swear by fig. Are you better than Allah? Are you higher than Allah? No, that's why I can't swear. By okay, the if Allah Himself swear by fig, so why you don't swear by fig? Because it's stupid. So you are saying to me that Allah swear by fig is a stupid. Thank you very much. Okay, thank no, you. No, the people, the people. No, why no, you swear. said it's a stupid. It's, it's a stupid. I asked you why you don't swear by fig. You said it's stupid. It's an answer. You gave me an answer. It's a stupid. I agree. What kind of God is swear by fig? If I am Him, I will, I will swear by coconut. It's better. I'm sure if Allah he heard of the banana, he was swear by banana. I mean a fig. Well, yeah, but, but can I please bring this one up and then which one? Brother. Which one? All right, let me bring it up. Are you sure you want me to tell the miracle? Mm, which one? All right, the one with the fear own. Mm. Okay, the one with the pharaoh. What about it? So during the time of uh, mm. uh, no Joseph, Joseph, right? You know mm. Joseph, mm. the father of Israel. Mm. So during his time, the mm. pharaoh was actually called the king. There was no word for pharaoh. Mm. It was like now, if I go back five hundred years in England, let's say I live in England, and I go back five hundred years, and now call the king a president, they will. I think I'm crazy. Who said that to you? If we go in the Bible, you will see that the word Pharaoh appear in the Old Testament. What are you talking about? Which one is book written? Yeah. Which book is written first? Hold on. Which book is written first? The the Quran or the Old Testament? Uh, you didn't know this. Uh, you didn't know this scientific miracle. No, 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 you choose it. You choose it. You're the one who chose it. I got you busted before you spoke about it. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one is written first? You said at that time there's nobody knows about Pharaoh. Right? Okay. Which right. which it's, book it's, it's, which it's, book is written first? The Quran or the Torah? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> take care, take care, take care, take care. <laughs> I mean what a comedy. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what I can do with them. Too much hashish. Too much hashish. A lot of hashish. Hashish up, hashish down. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, bad boys, bad boys? You wanna debate Christian Prince? I don't dare to debate myself. Each time, even I debate myself once in the front of the mirror, I lost. Don't do that. Who's next? What is hashish? Hashish is, uh, is drugs, is hash hash. Hello? I don't have a mirror at my home. Uh, uh, when I moved to this house, uh, I used to have a mirror, and then I entered the bedroom, I closed the door, there was a mirror in the back of the door, I get scared, I run away, and then I get inside the house slowly, and I look again, and I saw something, I get scared. This is exactly what happened to Muhammad when he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha. You believe it or not, the Prophet of Allah he got scared when he heard the voice of the angel. And you believe it or not, the angel, he came to the prophet when he was doing his boo-boo. Very sensitive timing. In other way, wrong timing. Very wrong timing.
I mean, this angel cannot wait until this guy he finish it. I mean, come on, the day is 24 hours. We have seven days a week. And then you come when the guy he is going out to do the boom boom, uh, boo boo. This is the chapter one. And this is the official government website of the King of Jordan. Here it says that the Messenger of Allah, whenever he heard, whenever, whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him, saying, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. I mean, that's really weird. A guy already he is a prophet. He saw the angel many times. He squeezed him. They spoke. They met. And now the prophet is receiving his most important verse in the Quran, which the Muslim pray five times a day during the time he is doing poo poo, yet he flee. Very strange. All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. And don't forget, please, to subscribe if you like what we do. Already we have a 26, 28 dislike from the Muslims, and we have only 954 like from non-Muslims, which is not really nice. I mean, I deserve more, but it's okay. I hope, I hope that Allah will reward me with big fig. I swear, by the fig. I did not eat fig for long. I really like fig. Hmm. I know why Allah is swear by fig. It's really, it's uh, de delicious. Sweet one. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope the Muslims, they see the truth and the truth will set them free. This is absolutely false cult. And as you see, it cannot stand the question, not even for a second. Every single statement they claim about their Quran proven to be false. And they don't dare, they don't even, they can't even try to prove us wrong. We go live on air. We open our Skype and we say who they are. And yet, they cannot. And the one who try, I feel sorry for him. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, I hope maybe tomorrow. Uh, I wish you a great time. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, you can search my books in Amazon, depending on your country. We have my books translated to many languages, including Spanish, German, Swedish, Dutch, um, French, you name it. And soon we will have a Russian and other languages. So I want to say thank you again. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And always remember, if God is with me, who could be against me? And this is why you Muslims cannot make it with me. You cannot. Don't call me now, please, because I'm done. Now you remember to call me? I mean, come on. Thank you, guys, and take care. Oh, hold on. We have a Muslim. Okay, hold on. I can't resist the temptation. Hello? He called, he hang up. You know. Ah, he want to talk offline. <laughs> anyway, I don't take offline. A Muslim want to talk to me offline. Why? No, you talk to me, everybody have to hear. Don't waste my time. You want to talk to me offline. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Christ is Lord. And Islam is false. See you soon. Bye-bye.